It goes out pretty fun. I haven't done them in a little while. Fortunately, this Coglin's going to be a berserker, so they won't... Oh, it doesn't recommend one. Interesting. They won't be able to go with something like that. What do I want? I don't think unarmed really works, does it? Could try, like, dual spears. Dual maces. Kind of tend to try dual maces. I tried, like, dual swords, and that worked pretty well. I tried dual axes, and that worked pretty well. Um... I feel like 10 fighting, 10 mason flails, I'll think about what I actually need. Oh, Zed is great on certain combos. Zed's got to be one of my least favorite gods. I don't know. I just don't like all their restrictions. Like, they, they restrict you from using, like, half the really fun stuff. Like, no talismans for you. No evil spells for you. No, I don't know. Probably there's something else that they don't approve of. Uh, I'll say this power with the most pow powerful paddock but right with the like um oh, what's it called the like sanctuary or something I can wear boots right I can wear do I wear all the stuff apart from rings and amulets I guess I do quite a few slots missing yeah oh the ring right here they like, can't wear dexterity yes yeah, that's like the most needed damage starts off really good on this character it seems ooh hold on Hey, it's a base. I got a dual base. Why not? I mostly think that pure caster runs in very janky. You know, the main caster gods seem to give you magic back fast stuff just for using them. Yeah, I mean that. I mean that's probably true. Probably the uh, not quite fully going full into magic characters do better, but I really like the really blaster caster characters. They just go full into the magic sides of things. Oh, what am I getting? Oh, nothing yet. It's getting designs for a gizmo. That armor looks good. Ring may have poison resist, but I gotta try to retreat back up into at least this corridor. I think I'm gonna need to berserk here. There we go. And I can grab myself some ring mail. What's that a uh, morning star? That's gonna be better than this maze, surely. I do 1 point, wait, 1.8 attack delay, oh, I'm slowed. I do 1.2 attack delay and 11 damage. 1.2 attack delay to still, and one of my weapons is 18, one of them is 11 now. Um, yeah, this ring has got to be good. Gets poison resist at least, which is a common source to be dying early on is the poison damage. Especially when you berserk up and you get poison, you can't drink a curing or something. Uh, oh, there's a lot more... Do I want Tanju and Deep Elf? Yeah, definitely. I think I've still got plenty of Deep Elf uh, combos left. Oh, but the mummies are definitely not the easiest to get the ninth level spells going on. Um, I think it's funny that you want to do quite as much damage, but I guess there's a... I don't exactly have a lot of defenses to I as a Coglin. I think they're kind of glass cannon characters. Um... Mummies where you just want to go for the OP choices. I did a mummy ice elementalist recently, and that was pretty good. Although, admittedly, that was before the... Was that before the nerf of the permafrost? It might have been. Probably was. Because I decided to, like, uh, win all the tough uh, ice elementalists while the permafrost was bastard, but I didn't get all of them. I just got the mummy and a couple of other ones, I think. Mummy Ice Elementals is classic. Yeah, they're, they're, I, I didn't used to like the Ice Elementals, but now that they've got the Permafrost, I really like them. Do I want a good god? I just want Trog as a Berserker. In fact, if I uh, abandon Trog now, I'd totally die. How do I have a... No, I don't have a Mace Quivered. Wait, are this voice my weapons here? That's a new thing, right? Pretty sure I used to just list my primary one, or maybe it did list both of them for a little while. Feels vaguely new. Uh, did they take away some of the ice beasts? No, it's still a thing. Wait, for the ice elementalists? Oh, they took it away and then they gave it back. Um, yeah. Which is actually not too bad because it gives you some sort of way of killing things that are not um, resistant to cold. Ooh, with electrocution. I do not want to see one of those. Okay, the plan is to run back to the staircase. Um, 
I haven't thought much further ahead than that, but I'll bring one of these guys upstairs. Uh, probably go down somewhere else, I guess. There's no point in going back into uh, that area. Uh, oh, he's been the uh, wind god, basically? Like a mummy ice elemental. Huh. But it's still definitely decent. Actually, I might. Do I check out that temple? I'm gonna check it out. There's probably nothing good in here. It's just normal gods. I'll just check it out and see if it was one of the rare temples. Okay. I gotta bring Pykel into this corridor and berserk them. I think that's gonna be fine. Yeah, I think these goggles do do a lot of damage while berserk, unless I'm completely wrong. Also, this mace could be good. Um. 1.2 attack delay. Is that actually accurate? Its base attack delay is 1.2. Hold on, let me slow it or something. <laughs> Let's check this out. So I do 12 damage, 1.1 attack delay. If I could speed up my other weapon, that would be nice as well, because that does a lot more damage. Oh, one attack delay, that's better up a lot. Oh, it's still 11 damage, that's definitely good. Uh... Oh, if you had to win, you'd probably choose Mummy of a Deep Elf? I feel like my Mummy win rate is so much worse than my Deep Elf one. Oh, Bobby hit points is much better than the Bobby. I thought Bobby was plus zero, unless I was wrong. Uh, I gotta check. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna ask my. I think my Bobby win rate's terrible, but some of that's probably because I did some sort of vaguely challenging run. Maybe they raised it with the food removed? Maybe. What does it like this? Oh, this bot hates all the numbers. All the uh, auto mod. Anyway, 11% uh, win rate on mummies, which is really bad. What was the other deep elf? Is that DE? I think so. Uh... And I've got like 30 something percent, so I've got like three times the win rate, almost, on deep elves that I've got with the mummies. Uh... Oh, Youth Bot is telling you their HP amplitude is at plus zero. Oh, yeah, that sounds convincing. You think Elf is minus 20? I feel like the Deep Elf is minus 20. Sounds about right. I know it's slightly more than the Spriggans, but not. Oh, is it minus? Is it more than the Spriggans? Is it... I think it's slightly more than the Spriggans, but not much. Either that or it's the same. Um, oh, this... uh, yeah, that's minus 20% health. Makes sense. Uh. I think mummies used to have eight negative HP apt, did they? Maybe. I used to play them back in the day, but I don't really remember. I never got that far with them back in the day. It's only been somewhat recently that I've actually been able to somewhat consistently win this game. When do I get the um Gizmo? Is that level 14? It should tell me if I go into here. Uh six levels. So that's level 14, yep. I was going to step around this corner any second now. Uh, down you vessel. That's fine. Dew vessel's up the front, which is exactly what I want. So I'll bring around the corner. The problem with, like, Berserk in a situation like that is that sometimes down can be really hard to get to. And your Berserk just wears off as you're running around trying to chase after down or something. I've always had that be a bit of a problem with the Berserkers. But down you vessel seem pretty simple. Um, I can throw things right. In fact, I should get into throwing at some stage. Because I'm definitely not going to be getting to any sort of spellcasting to hit things at range. Um, I don't really have a lot of throwing stuff. I might just go, like, full strength, although... What was that guy? Sky Beast, right? I think this is fine. What are the aptitude cycle like these coglins for something like throwing minus one? The problem with the throwing is like it doesn't benefit from their dual wielding. Can't dual wield some javelins or something and throw them twice as fast. That'd be super OP if you could though, I think. Although you'd run out of throwing things eventually, so maybe it would be... I don't know, it still feels like it would be really good if you could dual wield javelins. I don't have any fire resist, I can't get any fire resist. Um, also forgot to put on my boots. 
I think I just berserk this guy because that'll give me more health and it'll kill us really quick. Oh wait, I have boots. These four scrolls are probably like an identifying. I should read them pretty soon. I might just like go downstairs and read them on the staircase just in case it's revelations or something, but it doesn't really matter that much. Not, not that staircase. Oh yeah, identify. Um, I go try and get myself a curing or something. I got some ambrosia. Heal wounds is good. Lignification. Oh, I might just do a scroll because I got more of them. Poison's not bad. Wait, do you still have the? You do sell the revs. So your tanks start off a bit weaker. And they rev up. I don't know, I can't keep up with all the cognitive changes sometimes, but I feel like they've probably become a bit more stable. And not changing every couple of days or something at the moment. Oh. Let me move around. So she has fire damage. I want to polymorph. I might bring her around the corner. I'll put on the willpower and I'll berserk up. I don't know if I need that Steam Dragon scale, so let me quickly go check at this, uh, what this does. So, less armor class, right? Decrease my armor class by 2 and gain 1 evasion. No, it's probably not worth it. I'll just keep on my poison resist armor. I do want to bring the go gargoyle up nice and close, I think. Alright, good. What do I want to get as a skill? Like, do I get some... I get, I'll get a little bit of armor, but it's not going to make that much difference yet. I get a, oh wait, did I get a wand? If I got a wand, no, I don't have a wand. Oh wait, I'm too berserk. Maybe I do have a wand. Polymorph Flame. If I get a decent wand, then it's probably worth getting the skill of that, because I got a good aptitude. Oh. Whew. The Congregation of Two Headed Ogres. Um... Can I kill a Two Headed Ogre? I'll definitely pull this away from the other one. I think I can. Yeah, because I got 120 health or something when I berserk, which is not too bad. Uh, my damage seems to be incredibly good. Alright, so, um... I'll just get the invocations, otherwise I'm going to forget about it. But I mainly just need a mixture of fighting and bases of flails. There's been a delay of 16. I thought it might be. It's been a little while since I've done the base of flails, but I'm pretty sure I can still remember the mid delay of a lot of things. I know the demon whips have a really low mid delay of like 12 or something. Uh... I want Sif Mata. Definitely not with this character. They don't do much for me. In fact, I've already got Trog. I, I give it always. I always forget that I don't need to worry about gods or berserkers. It always happens. I'm gonna berserk. Good, it moved up to me. That's quite early for a Manticore. Like usually they appear around dungeon level what ten or eleven, I think. Oh, this is um. Hold on, this is a base of flails thing. It hits for twenty damage with a point seven attack delay. That sounds good, right? It's like twenty three damage point nine attack delay. I think the whip of electric fusion is pretty decent. But they had a good attack delay. 12 damage. Um I don't know, some say they could probably swap that out, but I might for now I'll swap out the morning star. This 10 things with a sh shillelagh. This all looks pretty invisible actually. I seem to remember this one being pretty good early on, then it falls off a bit because it's still noisy, like even late on. Um, I don't think its base damage is super high, but the plus six bonus is quite good early on. And it's really funny in the corridors, just like uh, things staying behind each other and just get blown up. Uh, I don't know, do I just like read through these scrolls to identify them? I might just wait till I, um, 
That's more identifies. Right, I'm so close to the design for my experimental actuator or whatever it is. I am not. Oh, it's actually three levels. That's not that close. Uh, I can grab the chainmail right now. I've always wondered, like, with Conklin's, was well, it's just having a dagger speed just for the increased attack delay. Because your attack delay is, like, the average of your two weapons, but I don't think it is. I think it's best to have whatever um, works really well in your... And whatever does really good damage in both your hands. Oh, yeah. Get some gloves. Oh. If I stand back, this guy will shoot me a couple of times, right? But I think it's still better than running up to it. Ooh, raw battle. I, I think Bailey's are the most likely, uh, like, timed portal to kill me, as it turns out. Because I often seem to underestimate them. Uh. Did I did get the identify right. I haven't found any in a little while. Good. The podcast is there, but I might just bring this guy a bit closer. Unfortunately, I don't have, like, uh... Oh, whoops. I just blowed myself in a bad spot. I don't have any, um... Kirari? Do I? Wait, no, I got one. So I could use those on the two-headed ogres if I wanted. Which could be better than trying to berserk up against Dutch. But then I don't end up slowed afterwards. Alright, whose ghost have we got? They've got 100 hit points, Kazel's ghost, Minotaur fighter. I don't think they're doing that much damage either. Like, I'm doing a good uh, 34 damage or something. Plus a bit more for blowing things up. I don't actually know how much that does. But it seems like it's a pretty decent brand. Alright, what don't I need? I don't need like all these old daggers. I might keep a uh, hold of that morning sight. So, um so much I'll identify stuff. So hopefully some identify scrolls in here. Ooh, this one. I can't unfortunately fly about the water. Right. Yeah, this is one of the acquirement scroll, but you've got to somehow, um... You've got to trick this guy into leaving you be. It's a lot easier if you have, like, a teleport scroll sometimes. Um, because I don't think I can kill that guy with his plus five, like, broad axe or whatever it has. Not broad axe, uh, battle axe. Alright, well, got all the consumables around the edge. Um, I really didn't have my identify identified right. Wait, right, look at the identified stuff. Yeah, I did. Where is this dude? I wish I had identified, uh, not identified, teleport identified, but anyway. Probably not going to forget about me with just for me closing that door. Sometimes they do, but I don't think this character is exactly stealthy. I wanted to get that cloak as well. Um, oh, hey, there's another requirement. I'm going to try Reader Scroll, see if I can get a teleport. Shower weapon. Um, I put that on morning star. It's not that good, but I should get to using the morning star soon. Yeah, that's a telly. Hey, killed it. All right, <laughs> that's fine. Then I can just go pick up the stuff normally. So it's got a cloak of regen coverage. Oh, that was really worth getting. No, that's amazing. All right, what else has it got? It's got the battle axe, so I don't need this two hander. It doesn't really work for this character. Um. Anyway, should like look at what some of these acquirements are. Granite form, boots of poison resistance, but minus two slang. Minus slang is actually not that great. Uh, the broad axe. Do I want to be in granite form? I'm not sure. My body armor is like the poison resistance, it's not that special. The other thing is lots of money. I don't think I grab the boots. Um, the Hmm, they're all right. 
Probably the ground floor will slows me down. I won't be able to manifold assault or anything, but I might grab it. I don't know, I think I'll do a Manifold Assault character, uh, not Manifold Assault character, standard form character. Hey, this guy for resistance, for this conversion resist negative. Plus three morning sub attention, or manual of evocations. I think that scarf's pretty good, but so is my cloak. Because mine just like the regen, I think it's like plus two, and it gets cold resist as well. Hmm. I don't actually know what the best choice is there, those are some decent choices. If I could get fire resist for another source, um, I guess I need to get the resist corrosion as well. I don't know. Go identify. I do another one of these potions. Haste. Good. Uh, I'm gonna try that morning sound in my offhand instead of the whip of a light fusion. So point eight attack delay. Wait, it's, uh, yeah, it's more damage, so I'm gonna see, see if it's worthwhile. What's the ghost? The ghost was, like, perfectly reasonable, right? But the guy in front, unfortunately, it's gonna go invisible. I'm gonna berserk it up, though. There we go, I get a couple of healing potions out of, uh, oh, doing that, don't reload, that's not what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to, try to unexclude that area. That's a little tad, this could be the orcish mines. Oh, that's almost only as with that many orcs. Bring those back to the staircase. How, wait, did this guy mine himself, or did the other guy mine as it went up the staircase? I don't think the orcs can mine themselves, right? next it's really nice that we just like shattering everything around because it means a guy trying to move to the side of me isn't going to live too long um teleports are fine Chop weapons I don't really need those just yet I might grab one of these um one of these vulnerabilities I've got a polymorph but I don't have a lot else that I can go with those oh Hey, Auric. Uh, I just gotta move out because he's gonna pull up and then Berserker. I can grab a Javelins at least, so that wasn't too bad. Give me all these Javelins everywhere they can't use, but two more levels so I can get my Gizmo at least. At least I'm really bad to be in because one of these got have fancy weapons, not those ones. Not that one. Hey, there it is. Plus, uh, seven Dire Flail of Context and a plus five Grite Mace. Uh, Dire Flail of Context is like flaming. That's it. Daddy from Coglin Town Type, it certainly does. It's all Thorium's ghost here. Dwarf Fire Elementals of a human. Dwarf's actually interesting spellcasting, so they can kind of do it in uh KB Armor. When should I start on the statue from anyway? I don't think there's any particular hurry on that one, because uh, I want to get my other skills to a decent level first. But I'll probably get it going like sometime in lair, that's um, oh, that's right, I get gifted weapons, so that's a plus three anti-magic morning star. I don't need my magic points, so, like, that's actually better than my offhand morning star. Get this corridor, there's something invisible. I think it's above me, right? There we go, killed it. Yeah, that's the thing, if you just like keep on swinging that one direction, just like, um... I'm gonna say it's a die if you're in a corridor. Right, I wasn't going to that transporter because it had the... had all the terrible guys in it. Wait, I should... Uh, I'll stand anyway. I should have put my willpower on there with the vampire, otherwise it could have confused me. I don't think I've got the cure just yet, which is... Never shame. Yeah, let's put on the willpower. You've got to remember with Trog, you've got to constantly put on the willpower because it's not that expensive to do. Heavy dire flail. That sounds like it could hit for a lot. Oh, it's about the same as the other one. 41, 42? Okay. Uh... Oh, it's a bit back up, but I think it's still fine. What's my attack delay? There's less than one, right? It's 0.7. Yeah, these weapons are both reasonable attack delay.
on top of these orcs, they obviously are getting the orcs. Oh, wait, did I see the orcs mine? No, I didn't. Maybe they are getting the orcs mines, actually. They are, right, makes sense. I was going to say they obviously weren't because they already had the orcs mines, but no, they are the area had with the orcs, so it's clearly not the orcs mines. Alright, um, I think it's lair time now. I don't really need the armor skill, because if I'm going to get the statue form, I might just get like uh, a little bit of dodging, see if that makes any difference with my 14 decks. Because you can't do dodge in like statue form, right? Oh. Uh... Should put on willpower when every time I see one of those basilisks, I think. Because my trog uh, party is pretty good. Like, it's up to the point where I get gifts and stuff. That's kind of just where I want to set it. Uh, I've already got the one curare, but still. Oh, that's the trick against the boulder beetle. But the, the problem with only having one is that you can miss. Uh oh. I've slowed on the top of snail. Um, gotta start teleport. This is absolutely not what I want to see. I have a scroll of fear. Um. Uh, gotta step up, but I could take a lot of damage. Step up again. Okay, next step I should teleport, right? Yeah, there we go. Some of these gotta notice me standing here. I just wanted to try and pull them into this choke point. Yeah, that's way better than have being surrounded by them out in the open. Also, did I even get a flame one? I did, but unfortunately, there's like plants in the way. Makes it mildly awkward. I'll just see if I can. Kill some of the other guys. I guess it's time to kill the electric eels. I can't actually see what happened to all like, the Komodo dragons and stuff. There it is. Oh, that was one of these border beetles. Uh, healthy steam deals. Yeah, it's definitely uh, more healthy for me, at least. Steaming them up. Well, unfortunately, I can't just eat the deals after I've steamed them up. That would be nice. Well, kind of. I wouldn't actually want to go back to the game with food. That was uh, a little bit painful having to eat food all the time. But it'd be kind of nice if I could just eat them for flavor reasons. I guess that's why you've got the, the whole, like, fruit and meat catches for now, right? Uh, see a bog body, which is kind of scary. I might try and bring the beetle up. Oh, I got slowed. Alright, well, I guess I'm just heading straight up then. I could have put on the willpower to stop the slow or something. Hey, if you put on, like, two anti-magic weapons, do they stack? Like, can you get, like, layers of anti-magic? Uh-oh, with they fall level three? Still the worst place to fall down to. It's not like falling down to level 5 or something. I remember playing with food around uh, Spell Hunger. It was funny times. Yeah, it sure was with a... I'm gonna berserk this guy because it's gonna berserk me. Uh oh. I'm gonna peek out the stairs. Anyway, if there's a if there's an orange demon there, it means there's a mame on there, which means I do actually want to fight those guys because the mame has got a really nice demon whip of venom. Yeah, there he is. He's got a minus one demon whip of venom. He always seems to have a negative charm. Well, it's not technically always negative, but it's very often negative. That's fine though. It's still a demon whip, and I've got the oh, which one of these will I replace? Probably the anti-magic morning star, right? Because that's doing 30 damage. The other's doing 22, but it's shattering people. I don't know. Yeah, I might replace the anti-magic morning star. Alright, let's give this a try. So, 22 damage, but it brings my attack delay down to 0 0.5, which sounds pretty good to me. Now what I just got to do is find another one of these demon weapons. Also, I shouldn't charge up. Demon uh, weapons are going to be my in-game weapon. Well, either that or um, evening stars. Either is fine. 
So I should probably just go up the stairs and actually to the level above, right? And then I'm just playing like, going down further and further and further. Now I remember with the older uh, like spellcasting with Hunger, you had to be kind of careful with what spells you used, right? Like you wouldn't want to or cast a high level spell that you needed to to kill a creature. So if you're fighting weak stuff, you had to just pull out the basic spells. I mean, you kind of do need to do that a little bit now to conserve magic points, but it's not quite as extreme. I think this is fine. Getting into the midst of that group. Oh, you think you got to cast Firestorm once, but burn too many calories and died? It was around when you uh, stock up on rations to do plays like Tomb? Right. Yeah, Xander used like a lot of food. I remember my first when I had like so much food left over at the end though. Um, because that character didn't do too much, I don't think. Oh, I need willpower. I don't want this guy to slow me. I want this guy to slow me. Uh, the equipment was... Right, scarves I didn't know about. I don't think I need the other thing on it anymore. I can probably drop the old, like, morning stars, right? And the old whip of electrocution. No, I can get the anti-magic morning star, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, because this character is trogged. Oh, there's another advantage of being trogged I didn't think of. You get gifted the weapons. Because with Cogloms, it can definitely be hard to get two decent weapons. Uh, sometimes, depending on the exact what type of weapon you go with. So I feel like going with uh, Trog is actually not a terrible idea. Maybe. Give it an evening star? Yeah, like, that's pretty good. I do need to, like, rebrand or something. It does uh, 35 damage, 0. 0.7 attack delay. Compared with this, uh, Shillelagh's 23 damage, 0. 0.6 attack delay. If I could get a brand on that, that would be pretty good. Um, that's Ringmail Resist Light Trigger. I can see all the Ringmail Poison Resist, which I've... Obviously, the Poison Resist is better in here, but there might be some places where the Resist Light Trigger better. Presumably, I haven't got a statue for by then, which I should start working on pretty soon. As soon as my current skills reach their targets, I think I'll start working on the statue form. What's my attack delay? It's like 0.5 will be around 0.6. I should be able to keep it under one attack delay with the statue form if I get a demon whip, I think. Uh, oh, Okawara was decent when you tried to kill it, but if you low roll the weapon, you'd be sad. Yeah, I seem to remember that uh, Okawara would like to give you two-handed weapons, which was a problem back when I played. Because they'd be like, oh, you have no shield skill, have some two-handed weapons. <laughs> like, that's not quite right of a Coglin. I don't know if that got changed. That might have been changed. But <laughs> I think there would that been a definite problem back when I tried Okawara and Coglin's. <laughs> Alright, level four down. I've only got one level to the lair. Oh, he's gonna arrive. They're gonna arrive at the same time. I don't like it when Death Yanks do that. I wanna split them up one at a time. Alright, well, at least in the second case, it's fine because these are just basic Yanks, right? Hey, I can finally get a Gizmo. Alright, let's see what uh, Gizmos are on offer. So I got the Auto Dazzle Cold Resist Slaying, which is kind of nice. Rampage Acrobat Resist Electric Willpower. Oh, Willpower's kind of nice as well. Rev Parry, that's one that gives you AC as you attack, I think. Poison resist, fire resist, corrosion resist. Oh, that's not bad either. Um. I got a little bit of cold resist right now from something. For my cloak. Oh, the host got tweaked, so it's uh, highly unlikely to get something useless. Right, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, you think C and B are both great options? <sighs> yeah, the Willpower's nice. Rampage is nice. Um, I won't get much use of the Resist Electric if I'm in statue form, which I might not say in statue form the whole game. We'll see. The last one, right. They have the Poison Resist in that good in statue form, but the Fire Resist from this Corrosion and Ref Parry are really nice. Probably don't need the first one as much. Slang's kind of nice, but I don't think I'll grab it. Do I want a Rampage? Willpower's really nice. I struggle to get fire resist, though. Um, 
I might grab the Rev Parry one, because the Rev Parry is kind of fun sounding. Alright, well, I installed it. Hopefully that's not a, mis uh, not a mistake, though. Yeah, so I built up I, the 17 armor class while attacking, right? Oh, 18 armor class while attacking. Uh... At 13 while not attacking, okay. And it kind of builds up as I attack. That's all too bad. Maybe Conklin comes with an extended warranty. I don't know if this Conklin does. I don't think these uh, Conklins last too long sometimes. And you're certainly not coming back for, an, um, back for a refund if it doesn't work, right? A ref having way has a chance to disarm. How do I look at my experimental thingy? Uh, while fully revved, you may disarm. Oh, so I'm kind of like a pirate now. I can just... I don't have a cutlass, so I don't have a captain's cutlass to go with it for an extra chance to disarm. That sounds kind of fun. I'll push the might. Those are pretty good. I don't remember to use those when fighting tough things. I always forget to use my potion of the might, but they're so good on Coglin because you get them with both weapons. So it's kind of like you're getting uh, two lots of might. And they're actually really good with like demon whips as well because those attack quickly. Right, so I've been delayed to any sort of weapons that I could get. Yeah, let's get the shape shifting gog. So I was 14, then I'll put on my statue form, then I'll get up to 16. That's what I usually do. Alright. Death Yanks don't seem too bad, although I definitely want to be fighting them one at a time. Yep, that's the last one. Dealt was. Do I ever want to rebrand this poison? I mean, at the moment, it's not too bad. Uh, draining's good. But I might still. Let me see if I can spot this polymorph Sonia. Yeah. Blink Frog, Malia, Basilisk. That's not too bad. Oh, Basilisk. A large attack? Nah, no thanks there, uh, Trog. Doesn't quite suit me. Rather, did I actually get a willpower? This was not the one with the willpower, was it? That was the other one that I was thinking of. But this does give me the fire resist at least. Oh, I guess I just rely completely on Trog for willpower. That's always an option. What do we have? Do we have a fire dragon in the center of the side round? We do have a fire dragon. I don't know, sometimes there's a hellhog, but I feel like the chance of a hellhog is kind of slim. He said, why do you go like a hellhog? And then I raided someone, I can't remember who it was. Was it Dumont Dow or something? And then they had a, like, a hellhog as well in the center. I was like, hey, wait, I thought fire dragons be replaced with hellhogs? But no, it was just a random chance. But I actually do have the fire resist, so I should be able to go kill the dragon. I don't even think I need to berserk. Nah, that's completely fine. Oh, I can grab a to read out of this. Um, is my inventory... I feel like in terms of inventory, I should do reasonably well. Although I guess my experimental actuator takes up a slot. But I don't have uh, rings. Like, two slots better than most characters, I guess. Good. A helmet. What else do I need? I've actually filled like all the slots that I can fill. Uh... Yeah, my estimate of dungeon level, uh, not dungeon level, the estimate of getting the form going in lair was definitely too optimistic. Drop this nearby. That's promising. Wait, did I actually drop my evening star? I thought it was a morning star or something. Whoops, I dropped the wrong one. Ah, whatever, I'll come back for it. <laughs> whenever I get the brand weapon, it doesn't really matter. Ow. Wait, so it's very different from this side. It was like close to that side. I guess it gives me an idea of where it is. Uh, 
I put a little bit of read there with Trog here. Yeah, good. Hey, there we go. That's a Minotaur. So I'll drop something before I get in. So probably, I don't probably know either, but it's a Stellatric Ring Mail. If I'm going to be putting on the statue form it very soon. Well, hopefully very soon. Uh, I got two inventory slots. That enough? I prefer to drop something else before going in here as well. I don't know. I want a polymorph outside. That's something that uses, but I think I'll go without it this time round. All right, what have we got in here? I have emerging slime creatures. Uh, slime death eggs look terrifying. The top of sale now, them. They do give you the. Uh, what was it giving if you defeated them? The sag with spiders. I see. Um, I got a choice of pretty much any of these that I want to do. So this one has a scroll. Does this one have a scroll? Add some boots. Is it doable? I think this was doable. Alright, let's get some more strats. So the plus two boots of ram painting. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I did want some ram painting with this character. So I don't really have a lot of ranged options. Uh, this is my only option is to go through here. I might berserk these guys. I think it's probably fine, but I'll get corroded up a little bit. Actually, did I take the one from this corroded? I did too. That's not too bad. I don't care about the ring, unfortunately. But anyway, which one of these do I want? Those look kind of tough. Those look terrifying. Uh... I think this one actually might be the one to go to. And berserk up these guys. I'm gonna get rid of the large abominations. Hopefully before the Berserk wears off. <laughs> what? An anti-magic devil sword? That's probably not that useful. Anyway, yeah, the Berserk did the trick there. So we've got gloves of dang time. My gloves are nothing. These are plus one. Mine are nothing, literally. How would intelligence? I think my helmet's nothing, right? Uh, I can probably drop that sword. It really doesn't matter. Alright, so there's a Minotaur, which I'm probably going to have to go. Can I, like, can I bring out a bro to help me out? Maybe I should. I think I should. Oh, that was nice. I can actually just leave my bro to deal with it. There we go. No need to even move up there. Oh, the Ring of Willpower, three slang. Oh, man. I can't use that ring. It's just, uh, I'll just leave it on the floor, I guess. So sad. Uh, I can grab the books. Don't really need the stuff, so that's kind of silly. Oh, crystal plate armor? I maybe need to reconsider this uh, statue form thing. Okay, let's grab the crystal plate armor. Um, it's minus fire resist though, so I'd have no fire resist if I put it on. Does give regen cold resist? You know what, I might need to reconsider my statue form here. Bring my armor class up to uh, 37. I mean, I lose a little bit of evasion, but like, I'm going to try that on. Yeah. I I got eight skill. Oh well. Let's just get some armor instead. I don't know how I get fired this, it could be a bit of a challenge. But I might be able to hopefully find some sort of armor piece. Like, I don't know, gloves or cloak or something. Oh uh, there was a there was a scarf um over here. Fortunately I don't need the resist corrosion, but it does get fire resist, cold resist, resist negative. It's alright. I lose a regen to get it, but Alright, but anyway, I actually do need resist electric now, but that could be hard to get. What have we got? Got some curing? Alright. That's the thing about Cognitive, you never really know like what you're gonna need when you grab your gizmo and you find out later on as you pick up pieces of um, armor and stuff. Uh that's fine. There's Nezos here. Oh. No, paralyzed? Who did that? Wait, did... Actually, who did that? 
Uh... Dezel zapped me with a wand of paralysis. Okay. I mean, this is fine. But I was not expecting to be zapped with a wand of paralysis as I went down. I should have changed a bit more carefully and see what items Dezel's had or something. Alright, can I reflect again? Jerry doesn't matter. Oh, except that they didn't die in time, and I forgot to put my willpower on. So I managed to get a um, whole agony off. Alright, well, I'll just uh, lure the thing down on this phone. I think it's better than <laughs> trying to head into the center if I can. Is that it? Is that everyone in here? No, the small stuff is drug run. Alright, well, definitely put all the willpower. I might try bringing a brother in arms. Uh... I might bring in another brother in arms. Oh, oh, wait, I forgot about my shillelagh. Uh, this is actually not the right one to be using for the, this character, maybe. All right. I did have another one. Hold up. Where's my... Oh, I don't have the brand weapon yet. I have the whole, um... I have the whole, what is that? Evening Star or something. Might go grab it. So my current damage is 25 with 0 0.5 tag delay uh, overall. 25 on the one I'm about to swap out. It's been nice blowing things up, but it doesn't work too well the brothers up. So, uh, 39 damage, but it brings my attack to 0.6. I don't know. It'd be way better if I had a brand to go with it, but I'll give it a try for now. But these are kind of endgame weapons. Um, probably some endgame body armor, but I'd really love to get some more fire resist. Oh. Was that level 13? I was too. Uh, oh, we've got seven of these things. Seven fear dice. That's what I like to see. Um, there's also a lot of willpower, so I can get it with like, I don't know, I just get it with paralysis. 60%? Oh, he got me with paralysis, that's not the right way around. Oh, hold on, I should just put on some willpower, so he doesn't get me with paralysis again. There we go, got him with the paralysis. And he's, of course, trivial once you've got paralysis on him. Well, it's 44 armor class is doing a lot for me. I mean, like, uh, Dungeon Level 13, that really is a lot of armor class. Anyway, what have I got tons of? I got three of these. It's blinking, which is nice. Oh, more identifiers. I gotta do more scrolls. One of these gotta be branding. Enchant armor. What do I even have to enchant? Because I'll never use a shield. So I can do my boots. I can do my gloves. I probably should. But I don't think see myself putting on something that's not this crystal plate armor. Um, got one more. I'll put it on my helmet. But intelligence is not bad on that helmet because I am kind of low on the intelligence and uh, noise. Means I'll be less likely to get stats here. I could do the auction mine, so I'm just gonna go down. Spot through base, okay. This is fine. The good thing about being a melee character is I can just like wander up to uh, Asriel here and he won't do damnation because then he'll hit all his friends and he's not happy about hitting all his friends. Well, leather armor fire, this is not going to be a great option. Uh... These areas with electric eels aren't too bad, but they can be kind of bad if you find one, like, early on, and you just, uh, don't ever want to flame or something, and it's just like, oh, these electric eels are doing so much damage to me and I can't finish them off. Like, I've had to exclude that area off just, uh, because of that. I just got back, what an insane armor drop. Yeah, definitely, that was just, like, on the ground, too, I think, uh, if I look at it. I found it, yeah, the gauntlet, or just, like, lying on the ground, which was really nice. I think it was on the ground. Was it on the ground? I don't remember anymore. 
Pretty sure it was. Just setting in the loot pile. Uh it's gonna merge up too much. I'll put a condenser vein onto them, but oh. <laughs> I managed to completely mess like the, the actual creatures. Oh that's too big. Pull them back and bring out a brother in arms. I can deal with this oversized slime creature for me. There we go. Alright. Why am I out running these slime creatures? I should be the same speed as a slime creature. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm done with Dungeon Level 14. I'm going to do Dungeon Level 15. Oh, it's one of these ones. One of the more, like, sort of circular levels. I kind of like these ones. They've got, kind of, like, a really cool layout to them. Maybe I should just trade a bunch of armor skill because it seems to be going up reasonably quick. Uh, I do want the healing potion. I do want this white potion, whatever it is. Identify is good. Teleport's good. I can grab the poison. Alright, so can I go identify myself a scroll of revelations? Do I? I don't think I berserk. I think I just keep on fighting for a little while. There we go. If I got a bit wounded, I might need to berserk to get some hit points, but that was still going all right. Um. Oh, whoops. This character's still no good against range things, so I'm actually gonna berserk these guys up. It's a resist uh poison resist minus willpower easy ring. I mean, that, if I could wear that, it would actually be decent. Um, because I think both poison resist. Wait, did I get a poison resist somewhere? Oh, I got the poison resist already. Okay, but resist electric is definitely something that this character does need to find a source of eventually. Well, it'd be nice if I could. Um, that scout that was for sale didn't give an off sale. An offer didn't give it, did it? No. It's more fire resist. More resist negative. All right. Fine. Oh good, another identifier. Keep going to go keep on going with the scrolls. There we go, brown weapon. I can put a brand on my morning star. So it's now a oh a spectral one. Alright then. Spectral morning star. I think that got uh effects where they used to be kind of random whether it was your primary offhand weapon or something. I don't think it used to be something like a little bit weird about which one would come out. But I like the Spectral brand. It's really good in these corridors where you can just like sit there and block off the space that will be next to you. I don't know if you can actually have two Spectral weapons out. I think they might. I don't think you can. Wait, I need willpower. This guy can paralyze. Um, yeah, I can... That's all my armor, like, fully charged up, which is kind of crazy, thinking about it. And I'm not even, they're gonna have a shield, so, like, there really is no useful armor for this character now. I guess I'll resist, I can hope that, uh, one of the weapons I get gifted is resistant or something. I don't know. I do want the lightning rod and the scroll, so... I probably don't need the shillelagh anymore. Uh, Polymorph probably didn't really have a need. <laughs> None of those are manuals. Because those shots are going to be the most useful. It's like, hey, do you want to have some spells as a, a trog worshipper? What can I do to damage these ball guards? I'm going to try to put some clouds on them. Uh, I don't think that made things better. <laughs> Okay. I use a lightning rod, I suppose. Lots of these things are summoned by that one. Alright, there we go. That did the trick. I feel like the clouds... They also need to avoid the creatures, which is a shame. Unless you get good, um, evocations. No manuals, right? Okay. Wait, I need more pals so I don't get turned to a peg. And the rest of this should be fine. If 
I know we actually got a decent amount of regen because I got two sources. I'm regenerating like three uh, health a ton, and then I get like a um extra one sometimes when I put on my god abilities. It's time for the Yorkish Mines. I've got the snake pencil. Oh, is present heat about me? I think instead of taking the money, I take the scarf. Um, I won't have it on all the time, but I think in spots where I need fire this, I'm going to have to put that one on. Also, I should be magic mapping, shouldn't I? See where my fire cave is. All right. Uh, hold on, that's the wrong way around. I gotta go this way around, otherwise I'm gonna have to run over that lava. So I can drop my... something. I can drop... Got a full inventory. I, don't know. I might drop the boomerangs and just keep the javelins on me. I'll drop the poison down to just keep the curari ones. Drop the noise. Uh, keep the brand weapon. I might eventually... No, I don't know. I might eventually want to redo it, but I'm not sure if it makes sense to keep it right. Let's put on the fire resist. And the resist look pretty good. Is there ever probably a good part for resist electric with that one on? I don't know, maybe I should keep that one on. The other one's kind of nice with the regen though. I'm just 14. I actually want to keep the other going. I might just bring it up to like... Is it, is it silly to get 20? I might just get 20. Um, I could get a little bit of the... Uh, evocations as well. I feel like it's not silly to get 20 armor skin when you've got crystal plate armor. Uh, Cloak of the Sea. That's one of that makes you really quiet, but that's minus slag. I really can't lose a resist, and I don't think that minus slag would be very good for a dual wielding character. Alright, what else we got? Broad X of Flaming. I don't think I need any of that stuff. Well, that was actually pretty easy. Um, oh, I should have double checked the stuff on the ground before I left, but oh well. Oh, looks like a mini hell floor with like a uh, town wraps around and stuff. That's probably the theme of it. Yeah, because there's a volcano. Certainly a lot easier than your average hell floor, though. I'm glad it's not like, I don't know, wasn't warm to have like searing ranches and hell hogs if it was the actual hell floor. Alright, got most of the staircases. One of them's not connected. That was bizarre. Got money, I might just magic map to get to that one. Um it's probably I don't know, it's probably a shop. Is there an altar? Probably a shop. Try looking down here. Oh, like so close to bazaar. Hmm. Oh well. Two inventory huddled. Draw the cloak of the thief. I don't think I need that one. Let's go in. Gold dragon scales. Um, I don't think I do. Like they aren't enchanted. I don't think I never enchant them up. Besides, they can't actually afford them, so it doesn't really matter. There's a tablet of regen. Cloak of resist electric. Oh, I see. Those might actually be all right. Um, tablet of regen is a straight upgrade. Well, not quite actually. I do lose a bit of it, but doesn't really matter that much. Glowing demon web. Ooh. Spectre even started, uh, it's probably not an improvement, but I might try the Demon Whip. Plus zero Demon Whip and Venom, yes, not really. Um, 0.7 attack delay, the Demon Whip's I know a bit faster, 0 0.5. 30 damage compared to 39, actually this is less. 27, alright, anyway. Yeah, I think I just keep with what I've got, I'll grab these things. The Resist Electric unfortunately would lose me a lot of other resists, but I would, anyway, let's put on the helmet. Gets me my regen back to two. Wait, two? Is that correct? Guess so, I've got the two sources right. Alright. I just hide in here. Sure, I'm marked, but I'm also in like a really good spot to be marked. With a decent amount of regen, this looks decent.
Hey, this is not a bad way of doing the orc spies. It could maybe even emulate these guys. The only problem is going to be like priests or something. Actually, being in this corner is not a bad idea. <laughs> because then I have my little spectral weapon in there. I don't work with the pole up guys, but hey. Can't have everything, I guess. All right, well, I think the shops are spread out this time around. It's not like a one shopping district with all the shops together. Oh, it's just another one of these bookshops. I'll take for manuals, but nah, nothing. And not a very good chance of finding manuals in those shops. It definitely happens, but... Oh, so my AC revs up above 50. What does it rev up to? Does it rev up to 51? Wait, do I only get 4 AC from revving, or is it not completely revving up for those guys? 52, okay, that's what I thought it would get to, because I think it was meant to rev up to give you 5. Uh, it's also, like, potions, scrolls, everything. I can't bag for those, I'll see what the other shops have. I've got a decent amount of money, so I might just be able to buy everything in here. All right, weapons, it's, no. There's really not gonna be a lot that's useful in terms of weapons, so there's power dragon, we don't really need those. What were my gloves? They were gloves or something decent, right? Dex? Uh, I mean, strats would be a bit better, I think, than dex, but that's still not bad, what I've got. All right, well, I'll just grab the consumables, I guess. I actually did. Oh, I totally need all these identifiers. I got amnesia, degeneration, and brilliance. Three things I don't need. All right, well, that's got some inventory space, I guess. There we go. Three inventory space. Um, where do I go? I've done the dungeon. There's a snake pit. Snake pit's not a bad idea. There's also a swamp, which is also not a bad idea. I have everything apart from resist electric that's useful in here, so this should be fine. I had to resist corrosion. I'll just go whoop, back up actually. Uh, I don't like the look of this. Might actually start a teleport. Right, that's one of the chunks up instead. Yeah, okay, the lack of resist electric is bad when you get two chunk serpents, but I think the chunk serpents will generally be fine. They don't generally come in groups. That dude's got a shield. Doll's got a resist electric, resist fire, resist corrosion shield. Shield of a volcano. That's a shield like all the elemental resists. Do I want to do anything to him like Berserk or something? Why just bring out a brother? There we go. And I can identify whatever this is a potion of cancellation. Yes, I get, I don't know, something I want to cancel it, like polymorphed or something into it. But like, I keep on forgetting to put on my willpower, so it's uh, quite likely I'll eventually get myself polymorphed into something. Find an enemy with a modern polymorph or something. Uh, I get to see what that was before that guy magically shot an arrow at me. It's, oh, a resistance potion, those are nice. I need as many of those like again, I think, to make up for my lack of resistance. Right, uh, state pins on one is done. Let's just go down a bit more. If it continues going like this, though, I shouldn't have too many problems. Are these guys doing a bunch? The finest guy has a tower shield, it probably is. Not something I need for this character, but it's, uh... 
But it does make them a lot tougher than shields because they do have to block quite a few of their attacks. But I feel like enemy shields... I'm not sure. Are they not as bad as they used to be or something? I feel like there was a stage where enemy shields were like really, really powerful or something. And it's still definitely, definitely very helpful for the enemies. Right, we've got uh, CK's Ghost. Vinestalker Brigand. I think it's a uh, Vinestalker. They lose a lot of the stuff that makes Vinestalkers good. Like their bite. The 28 damage, 99 health. They're not that bad. I'll do the rest of the level, then I'll come back for them. I just don't want to be ambushed while I'm fighting them with even more creatures, but I should have a really trivial time against them. Unless I've miscalculated something, and have secretly got a bunch of AC or something. Or unless this bite secretly does work, but I don't think it does. What did I just get? A demon whip. I got plenty of those. Ooh, blinking size. I'll grab the Identified, get some of the stuff I identified earlier. Teleport, Revelations, Poison, everything apart from the noise, basically. Uh, I have Mutation Potions, good. I wonder if I'll be able to get, like, Necro Mutation with this character. I don't know if I'll go Extended or not. Trog's not, like, the ideal Extended God, but that could be decent. Where's the way down? Oh wait, I don't want to go down. I want to kill the ghost. And then I want to go down. Yeah, super trivial. That's about how I expected that to go. Wait, I got three identifiers. It identified most of my stuff. So magic, enlightenment, and silence. Silence is good. Um, Because uh, against mages, I'm not really going to need to cast spells. So I'm going to kind of like minus scroll, I guess, effectively. But... Could be pretty good against some of the mages. Especially if I fe fight Nicole or something and have no electric resistance. Why are the things so grouped up like this? Got a drink of resistance, otherwise this is going to be lethal. How's another one? That's crazy numbers of shock servants in one spot. Uh oh. I think I moved back. Oh, don't constrict me. That's not right. I think I can just run away from these guys. I know this one dude's like hazing up or something, but it's not like it's doing a whole lot to me. I'm glad I had those uh, resistance potions identified, though. Otherwise, I probably would have to be desperately trying to teleport out with all those uh, electric... Well, they shocked up in, guys. It's bot cheese ghost. I've seen another one with bot cheese ghost. What is this one? Oddy Ice Elementalist. They have a uh, Letro Lunge. Vice Letro Lunge. Blink and Freeze. Looks like they might have just gone to Mali because they're using some sort of big weapon. Wait, where did they go? I like how much the damage is. Yeah, they're like 40 damage or something, so. Definitely doesn't look like the sort of damage I'd expect for a character that's doing, um. Like spell casting. And that combined with like the Letra Lunge. Uh, I need to back up here. I think this is fine. But I do have tons of fear scrolls if I need them, but I don't think I needed them there. Oh, the robe arch magic with harm and minus stealth or something. That's a, not actually a terrible robe if you're like trying to be a blaster caster or something. Just max out the damage of your spells, get them to 100% power or something. I go well with my level, level 18. And the game knows I have no resistance electric with all these shock servants is throwing at me. At least I'm just one this time, not a group of four of them or something ridiculous. Uh can I give it a flail? I mean I feel like I've been given all the all the weapons I need. At this point it's just uh I've got a hope for it, um one with some resist on or something, or high enchantment bonus or yeah, I don't know. There's not, um, not too much more I could want. Oh, 
How Sif Man is getting party tricks. Like the Alice's uh, intoxication and the importation. I feel like I never really used Alice's uh, intoxication. I might have had it going with the character before, but I don't often just get it going either. Because it's kind of really niche on who it targets. Like, it won't even really target... What is it? Intelligent enemies that are not poison resist or something? I don't know, it definitely feels very niche. Oh, hey there, Nicola. I had a scroll of silence room, right? Might just use it. Because it's going to make him, yeah, just make him really trivial. That's kind of nasty. I think if I berserk up here, though, I'm completely fine. I don't know, worry about getting shocked and stuff. I mean, I might have been fine without, but I don't know. Don't want to risk it. Wait, what was this? Distortion, is it? Hmm. Problem with the characters, they don't really have any range. Like, I should get some throwing at some stage, but... I don't know what the best chance uh, time is. I guess when I finish with the uh, throwing here, it might be a good time to get some range. Because I got the javelins. I should drop my boomerangs, but I can go back and grab those if I need to. Oh yeah, I recognize this uh, snake ending here. This is the one where it's nice to be able to fly, which I can. It's also nice to be able to resist the lantern, because one of the things that can actually damage you while you're flying is uh, shock serpents. Oh well. Uh, probably fine, but I might have to teleport out a few times. Maybe we'll see. Plus seven flaming morning star. Is that something I want to use? Let me take a look at this. So, 39 damage point seven attack delay compared with this one's 30 damage point five attack delay. Is that actually more? Hold up. Uh, what was this? Uh, I got to ask the bot. So, 39 divided by 0 0.7. 55, okay. And this was going to be like 60 or something, isn't it? That was, well, I tied the wrong thing. They're actually pretty similar damage. It's got a higher enchantment bonus on it. Um, <laughs> it's more accurate, right? I think. Plus one accuracy. Effectively four accuracy. This was effectively five accuracy. They're pretty similar in that too. Are you tired to the right thing? Yeah, but it's definitely going to be 60 when you divide 30 by 0 0.5. Uh... I feel like the flaming might be more useful in here. I might just go dual modding stuff for a while. Oh, wait. I forgot my weapons are really slow swapping, so now I'm just one-handed. That's right. It's all the normal 0 0.5 or something. It's actually kind of slow. Do these look different? Oh, is that a morning star? Not an evening star? No wonder it's having trouble competing. For some reason, I thought that was the evening, so that wasn't, uh... Okay, then that's probably not that good. That's, that's why, I felt like that damage should have been higher. For an evening, so... Hey, where is this dude? It's right behind me. This is the door where you want to fly, because, um, yeah, you can go here. I want to move back to these guys, and I want to emulate them, but I don't have a lot to start the whole reaction going. It's not going to quite get all of them, is it? But it might get enough. I'm going to try Gravitambourine some of these guys. Yeah, only half of them are emulating, but that's fine. Anyway, let's, uh, let's electrocute them. It's not going to do much to the electric guy. Uh... Alright, I see some, uh, some progress here. Some of these guys are beginning to burn up. Ah, that's not too bad. Alright. Now we can go grab uh, this character's first rune. 
So where do I want to go? I can go to Swamp. I do fly. I have no resistance to electric. Swamp sounds fine. Who needs resistance to electric in Swamp, right? I don't think you do. And I, yeah. Got the resist corrosion as well, which is nice. Um, and it doesn't matter that I'm fighting Hydras because I'm obviously not going to get them heads when I just bludgeon them to death. Wait, what is this thing? Choke point's alright. I mean, my spectral won't punch into here, but it should be fine. I forgot to I got to put all the willpower again with those a guy that can slow me down. Uh, I'll bring this guy back in bed. There we go. Wait for the trees. I can probably actually kill those guys their trees without too many problems. Any willpower here? I don't see anyone that needs it. Oh, even Lurdy is gonna have trouble getting through fifty plus AC. Yeah, what is it? Fifty one AC revs up to fifty six or something. It's uh. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad if this character had mental and they had hydra. This arm is amazing. Like, it's, sometimes it doesn't matter having, like, a resist missing if your armor class is, like, high enough to kind of make up for it. Uh... Although, to be fair, my resist, I actually do it really well for a Coglin as well. I think this character's kind of just got everything going right for them. My boots are already rampaging. I also care that I decide not to take the rampaging because I immediately get a boost of rampaging, so I don't regret not taking the rampaging either. Uh, yeah, I'm just where I need it. What was I going to get? I was going to get something. Throwing, I think. Because I do occasionally feel like I need a ranged option. Um, I got everything else pretty solid, so it's definitely time to you know, get myself some throwing. Oh, okay. Oh, Mio Glottal. I gotta retreat back to the staircase. Getting eaten by the trees, but I think this is still fine. I actually berserk this guy. Let's get a little bit more health because I'm feeling kind of wounded there. Uh. Good old worms making sure to take me off staircases. What did I get here? Plus two modding star? I keep getting the modding star, so it's not that good. Uh, I think I can just berserk here. Pull these guys upstairs. Kill me, O'Glottal. There we go. Go on a murderous rampage while berserk. It certainly does seem to work. How does the defense of the spectral weapon work? Is it just like a fixed amount or is it based on my defense? I think it's just like a fixed amount. Uh, Alright. Just other things can theoretically damage so this might take a little bit of damage. Yeah, he's got a little bit of AC. Ah, it doesn't look like it's that well defended. That's alright. Angry when he goes upstairs. <laughs> yeah, so I think at least you can take the staircases while angry because you can't do a lot while berserk. I don't even feel like it either spoke, but I'll pick it up. I've always got stuff to uh, the chart. I might do my... Uh, I could do either of these. I might do the demon whip. Alright, two more levels of the swamp. We're making good progress in the swamp, though. I don't think this will be too much of a problem. Though there was some scary uh, dudes before. And when I got like pulled into the center of the level type thing. But there's enough like open space in here, the uh Spectre was doing a lot. I mean, I did get the occasional choke point, and those are nice when you get them, but you definitely want to be doing good damage when you don't manage to get a choke point in here. I feel like the resist corroded is actually fairly important with this character because uh, when they get corroded, it's like both weapons are corroded. Louise, oh, definitely. 40% of banishment. Let's see if I can reduce that. Uh, 1%, that's better. She does have electrocution, though. Uh, well, 
bolt of electricity. Am I a berserker? Hey, no problems. That was just a morning star, right? It wasn't. It doesn't look like an evening star. I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure it was a morning star. Heavy morning star, even. Once I got myself slowed again, but it does, doesn't matter. Little tired leeches, zombies. Hmm. I think this is fine. But I feel like sometimes uh, getting accidentally slow can definitely cause you consumables. <laughs> If I get a Lurdy, it's probably like an undead Lurdy and not just like the normal one, because these guys will look kind of undead. Um... Oh, is this one of the little dudes that like try to blink you in further? Uh... What point do I consider teleporting out of here? I think I'd consider at least backing up. Oh yeah, I think now is definitely what I consider teleporting. But I probably, if I was being sensible about that, I probably would have teleported slightly earlier. I mean, it didn't matter. I was able to defend myself fairly effortlessly while walking backwards, but still. And everything has reached attacks here. Even the... Oh, I can identify everything, some invisibility. But even the frog did. Attraction. Berserk rage. I mean, next time I need to berserk, I should just use the potion. So it doesn't take up the inventory space anymore. I should probably... Do I have a... I don't have to have my boomerangs. I mean, I should probably go grab my boomerangs at some stage. Uh, what is my throw again? It's at nine, yes. Oh, hey, there's a dragon this time around, a bone dragon. I shouldn't uh, stay back too much because those love to push you back. So I don't want to be in there where it can push me back into the clouds. All right, well, uh, let's go and grab the boomerangs. There's a, they're all sitting in one, well, they're in multiple piles, but this is the largest pile. Two further piles there, the orchid mine, so that's easy enough to get. Alright, where do I want to go now? Let's go to actually a quiver of the boomerang, that's perfect. I want to go to. Do I get a vault with over to this electric? I guess so. Um, I could take I could lose over to this fire and put on the resist electric. You know what? It might be it might be an idea. I think having no fire this in is fine. Uh the lack of willpower is kind of a shame, but the, the swapping the cloaks around doesn't help with that. And I always have resist corrosion because that's one of my gizmo things. So it doesn't matter if I have the cloak for a little knot. Oh, I should have put on willpower with that uh, eyeball. Those, uh, those can turn you into like things, mushrooms and stuff. I don't think the archers will be too much of a problem just because I got like enough AC and I can also charge up to them. Uh, usually they're a problem with characters without shields, but I think this will be fine. Oh yeah, the lipworms aren't too bad. Then uh, the only real things that do fire damage in here, apart from bosses, but there are there's like eggs to her and oh, what's the other one? Oh, it's plus two evening stars. That's not that good. X2 and uh, Marjorie, those are the ones that do fire damage. She had to be watch out for those. We have no fire resist, and I might even have to drink a potion of fire resist. Oh, I don't need frostbite. I'm not, uh, not into the two handed weapons here. Uh, gotta go take out this guy. 
Good. Skipping salt? Wait, there's salt on this one? Oh, ear piercing. Um, I probably should have gone to that. It's a bit late now, isn't it? I mean, this character probably can't do it, but I might just do a last minute magic mapping. Uh, yeah, this character probably should skip it, but I wouldn't like to at least go in. Kind of... Kind of collapse as I'm walking up to it, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe? No, I got to it. I don't have time to sort out my inventory. I'm just going to have to go in, unfortunately. I don't have willpower because I know some of the things in here target it. Don't know if this guy does. I don't think so, but... Just in case, I don't want something to come up to the screen and torment me or whatever. This might be fine with the amount of regen I've got sitting on here, actually. This is probably fine. Okay, I've got to be very uh, careful with putting on the willpower. Um... I still got to resist electric. Is that the right resist to have? I know there are electric guys in here. There's nothing that is fire damage here, apart from maybe the occasional uh, fire golem or whatever it is. Uh, not fire golem, fire guy golem. Basically the same thing. Okay. How to charge this guy before it recalls. This seal feels good. I think the overwhelming damage is often the right way to do these levels. Because I used to find them really good, like, uh, characters in Dragon Form and stuff. Um, I'll put on a little bit of the regen here. Try and heal me up. Unfortunately, the jewelry is not something this character can use, but the rest of the stuff should be. If there isn't any other stuff. Oh, the manual of transit is not big enough. Not that I can actually train it. Oh, the three corners, five slang ring. Man, that ring would be so nice. Now that might as well, pal, but, like, man. I'm definitely missing out on that one. What's this one? Resist Legend? Resist Cold? AC? Yeah, I'm missing out on that one as well. I gotta be seeing all sorts of, um, unfortunately really good stuff. You think the Crystal Guardians are the hardest setting? I mean, generally those would be a bit of a problem, I think. But they, they should be fine when you've got Crystal Plate Armor on, right? This dude loves to summon, I should get rid of it. Did it actually... I'll summon everything. This should be fine then. Except the rest of summon by this one. No, I think I just saw the teleport. I mean, I might be able to fight like, up to that guy anyway. Oh, same area. Alright, start this fight again. This time we can get up to it from full health. Plus 10 heavy whip? No, it's not going to compete. Plus 2 had it. I got like the intelligence or something on, I think. Uh, I might as well grab the books, even if I'm not allowed to use them. I don't know, I feel like I'll be keeping with Trog for the rest of the game, but just in case. Um, yeah, like, that's, uh, I mean, these are the things I can use, which I don't actually need. Oh, what? What's a key for... I kind of want to show, like, the, uh, all the things I'm missing out on. Ring of Resist, Light of Resist, Poison. Resist, Light of Resist, Cold, AC. Three quarters. Five Vage and Five Sling and Minus Will Power. I mean, that Five Sling would be amazing, but oh well. That's fine, let's get out of here. There's nothing I can actually use in there. Wait, oops, I shouldn't have gone in there. That guy would seal the door. I mean, not that there was too many creatures in there, but it can be a problem getting yourself sealed in a room. The only slight downside of this uh, spectral is that you can't rampage through a spectral weapon, so... Sometimes you have to be a bit careful with that. Alright, excellent. Vault 1 done. So I'll check for temporary portals a bit more carefully, because last time I managed to completely miss that there was a portal. You have a morning star. Oh, yeah. Those are the not-so-useful ones. Do I just charge this guy or do I throw a boomerang at it? 
Do I throw a boomerang in it? Oh, minus potions? Come on. That was shapeshifter as well. Maybe I should have charged it, but I might try resetting that one. Fortunately, don't have that many mutations, so this could make it worse. Spells don't matter. Resistant poison doesn't matter. Ooh, resistant mutation. That's nice. Okay, so that's, uh, that's okay. Hopefully that will save me some mutations later on. Try to hide out of this uh, roughly a choke point area. Yeah, this is where the spectral wave is really nice because it appears up here and stops the creatures flanking me. I should really move up here. I should just pull them back a bit. It's a little bit harder with all the archers so to actually pull the creatures back, but it's still working. Rampage is so good. It really is with the melee characters. Especially like the Coglins, like the really high damage melee characters. Because if you think about it, this character's damage rating, like the attack delay is 0 0.6, and the damage rating is like 71. I mean, it does double check armor class, but still. With a character with that high a damage, it's really nice just to be able to close the distance on creatures really fast. Do you want to scroll sounds? What am I carrying around? Don't need an extra demon whip of venom. Alright. And that's the uh, second level of the vault. That was probably easier than the first one. Didn't have, uh, didn't have scary uniques or anything on it. Am I just getting surrounded? I think so. I think that's uh, uh, 8 and it's fine. What's actually buffing up my end right now? Oh, the cloak. So it's going down to 6 eventually. Oh, yeah. I care about the statue. Uh, the electric form. What I do care about, though, is a... Uh, a death form. These guys just going to keep on repetitively some uh, conjure, not conjuring recalling. It's probably fine if they do, honestly. I just kind of stay back here and kill everything that comes along. Alright, so we've got a ghost in here. The uh, Rezia's ghost. Deep Elf Conjurer with Firestorm. I mean, they are Deep Elf Conjurer. What was they got with, like, Behuman or something? Sif Mata, okay. I thought it might be something that made this spell the easiest cast. I should come back for that, but Firestorm is kind of nasty. And if I do go in there, I should go in there with my Fire Resist on instead of no Fire Resist would be the thing to do. Yikes, yeah, definitely. Don't, not go in there with no Fire Resist. Uh... I'm happy to put the, put the willpower on. Uh... I don't know what, throwing's probably about as good enough. Um, I might get fighting up to 20. I haven't decided on title yet. There's not like a Coglin Mason Flails one, is there? Mason Flails don't usually have a unique one, but I'll check for unique titles uh, for Coglins. Fetters. Cover Goblin? <laughs> on earth. Okay. I've had, uh, I think I've had Iron Golem, have I? Uh. <laughs> I can try and become a Cob Goblin. It would require me to change gods right at the end. I have a Cog Mind. I've had Iron Golem. Alright. Shapeless Goblin. Coglin Aeon, sure. I kind of, kind of tempted to go for the cop goblin. <laughs> um. I could, there's always a throwing one that I could go with as well. So I don't have to do it on this character. Um. What was that weapon that just got dropped? Evening Star of Flaming plus four. It's got a decent bonus to it. Let's look at how good this actually is. 43 damage point seven attack delay compared with this one this uh yeah that's like uh sixty four total this one is forty three divided by zero point seven sixty one right yeah I think the demon whips are generally a little bit uh, more damage, but uh, they bet the other ones are better at hitting people with armor. 
I don't know, I feel like either one works. I might just get, keep with the demon whip flow. Kind of liking the reasonably fast attack delay. I'm looking at the feel of titles that you've got there. Banana Ken? Oh, it's ambiguous of the fire elementalists. You just had Ruinous twice in a row. What is Ruinous for all this? That's like a Conjuration one. Pretty sure it's just like one of the general ones. Oh, don't worry about the spam. I don't mind. I looked at Oh, you got a middleweight champion, a minotaur. Wait, you've done lots of unarmed ones? A like grand champion? Wait, why did you do so many unarmed minotaurs? Are you doing like, uh, shape shifting ones or just like straight unarmed? Because straight unarmed is not terrible either. It can't be un uh, unarmed. I think just the, the blaster castle with the feelings. Yeah, I should do some. I've done like some feeling blaster castles, but not many. I've done, made, done mainly shape shifters, I think, at this point. I wasn't going to release the ghost because I had Firestorm. <laughs> That's right. And if I was going to release it, I wasn't going to release it wearing this armor. Oh, it's Che plus unarmed, you think? On the Minotaurs? Oh, yeah. No, unarmed's definitely fun. I wish, like, Coglins could do it properly. Because I think they still can't. Uh, a Minotaur the chain will punch a hole through you and cast uh, pretty well. I guess they could get cast like okay because sure the attributes would suck, but I mean if you had like high intelligence or something, it would make up for it. Oh, Bolo Angels trapped in there with the level and all the. Wait, I can bash up the Sacred Lotus. I thought that would be on the inside, but no, it's very on the outside. Anti-magic mace, don't care about that one. <laughs> we got a lot of like random mace and stuff. Oh, base uh... Oh, I have resistance I've got right now. This should be fine. I might bring out a brother anyway. That's not where I wanted that one. Yeah, this is fine. Brother and arms is not gonna last long, but it might not need to. Yeah, base shooter dead was too focused on me. I think it's a fun combo. I wonder whether I've got any Minotaurs left that I could try like a unarmed Chambriados Minotaur. Probably not today, but maybe tomorrow I could do an unarmed Chambriados Minotaur. Because I'm really bad at Chambriados until I get them going. So, I almost certainly could get a title out of it. It does sound fun. You know, I'm not sure if people are right about these Coglin Berserkers being good or not, because I got such good items that, like, it's really hard to tell if these are actually good, or whether it's just this character that's really good. But this doesn't feel bad. I feel like, uh, Berserkers aren't bad when you start off, like, kind of fragile, because you can kind of make up for it by Berserking. So I think this actually might be a really good combo. I wonder how it compares to, like, a Minotaur Berserker. It's probably not quite as good at people on you, but it might be more fun. I'm not sure. Dual wielding is kind of fun. Nowadays, there's less of beckoning, which makes positioning a lot more simple. Right, no, it definitely would make sense. Oh, don't go down there. Um, Go to the Elven Halls, I'll probably get myself banished, but that's fine. I've got lots of regen, I've got lots of armor class. I mean, obviously, like, I can put on willpower to prevent that, but... Knowing me, I'm gonna forget. <laughs> Uh, do I still want the resist electric or do I want to put on the other ones? <sighs> resist fire, resist cold, resist negative. Um, that's gave me. I uh, lose a little bit of armor put class putting that one on. I kind of feel like I do want to keep on the resist electric. I know there's like the fire mages. Yep, there we go. There's me setting myself to the abyss. All right. I knew it would happen. <laughs> I don't know if I could go stop by, by get myself a rune or something. Oh, back then you had to use temporal distortion a lot to fix the problem of pulling things in. Right, makes sense. I should have willpowered up there, actually. No, and there's also, there's also like Vice Electric Charge and stuff, which I believe Chapriators, oh, is that forbidden on Chapriators Worshippers? 
Might be. I don't know, I think, I know something got changed with the vines, like, who was allowed to do it and who wasn't. I go downstairs, I'm gonna go to level 3. Ooh. I just saw a rune. Didn't tell me about it. That's way over there, but there is a rune. Yeah, it's weird how when you go down to a level, it doesn't, like, announce that there is a rune, even when there is. Um, the wrong side. Oh, this is, like, completely the wrong side. Oh, this guy's gonna torment me. I guess I'll have some chance to regen as I'm walking around here. I don't think, uh, I mean, I could maybe try a digging wand or something. I like the look of that Tormentor. Go for that one first. Oh, there's another thing in here. Um... Got a gateway leading out. I'm right next to the rune, though. I think I actually just take the way out, unfortunately. Oh, what happened? I got weaker. Did I? Temporary. That's fine. I thought it was actually from, like, the... Um, the Quoxac, the, not the Quoxac, what was it called? Kaku Demon. I always forget that these elves are confused, it doesn't really matter, but like... Oh, if it gives us spamming it, it probably does matter. <laughs> Where did the dude go? I don't think I killed it, I just put it on the willpower and then it disappeared. I oh, finally got a run going, Gee, because excellent! No, this is good. Minotaur... Berserker? Hey, we're both like, like, Berserkers now. I think you mentioned that you were trying some Berserkers earlier today, right? Well, it was earlier today for me. Probably still for you. But you uh, well-rounded skills. So what's the character is it? Is it like a, a shield and... I don't know, axe character? That's the classic Minotaur one, I think. But I mean, other sorts of Minotaurs work, too. Like the... You can use pretty much any weapon with a Minotaur, actually. Ooh, Godless of War. Don't need the Gold Dragon Armor. Um, I do need these, right? I got Gloves and Dex? Yeah, I need these. I definitely need these. Oh, man, these are amazing. Uh, what can I hide to put these on? Oh, get them to me. <laughs> I don't want to leave them on the floor. I have, like, 10 Evo, 10 Shields. Six throwing, and he's going up to 10 soon. 16 armor, 16 fighting, 12 shields. Oh yeah, that's pretty well rounded. Uh... No, it's nice having a, a sort of well rounded character. The Minotaurs can do it really easily as well because they have such good aptitudes. Yeah, this would be so much harder without the Rampage. Alright, so I want to put these gloves on, but the guys keep on interrupting me. Let's put these on. Oh, uh, I don't care about losing the dags. I can drop the old gloves. This is going to be so much damage. Like, look at that. 48 damage, uh, followed by 38 damage. That's like, how much damage? 86 damage or something? That's, uh, pretty good. Are you dual wielding? Yeah, it's a special Coglin thing. Uh, so, what is it, Coglin? Coglin's like a... I think it's technically a goblin in a mech suit. Um... <laughs> and they run around the dual wheel. They're actually pretty fun. Do I need dodging? I did the other dodging because I got the heavy armor. I get a little bit more throwing. I'm just trying to think of what exactly I do need because I don't need the invocation, so I've got plenty of... extra XP with this character. Oh, I can't rampage this guy because it's invisible. That's fine. Oh, like a tiny golem with a mag suit. Yup. I mean, I don't know why it's got... I why it's called Coglin. I don't know where that name comes from. Oh, that's a unique name to crawl or something. What was I going for with the title? I was thinking about the Cog, go uh, cog Goblin. But I was also thinking about the throwing one. Either one's fine. 
Yeah, we might do a... I've always said to do a separate Phantasm 1. Because of how bad Oak... Uh, not Oak War Trunk Wrath is. I want to make my orb run. I could actually just grab the gun on the orb run. Make it a little bit harder, but it wouldn't really matter. Oh, you have to use two weapons instead of a shield. Technically, you can use a shield. Uh, the two weapons are just... I mean, I feel like there's not a lot of reason to use a shield because um, your aptitude's bad and you could just play another racist banner than if you wanted a shield, right? Wait, is it late frost level? Wait, did I actually... I'm messing out on all these uh, caves. I should I should go magic map this one. I don't think I'm getting to it very fast. Ah, it's right down there. I'll stop warning me about walking into the flames. There's the guy there anyway. I want to burn up because I didn't get the fire resist. I gotta be a bit careful with all these fire um, elementals and stuff. Um, are you getting to get a very good mech, uh, easy with your mech suit? Technically not really. This character just got really lucky and found some plus 13 crystal plate armor, like, really early on, so, uh, Yeah, more of a glass cannon, yeah, so if you get really lucky with a plus uh, 13 crystal plate, you do, you do just fine, but otherwise they're generally fairly fragile, which can be the downside, their main downside. Um, I just get to kind of live without their main downside, which is nice. Oh, what did I need? I could probably, oh, I'll keep the brand weapon, I'll drop the torment. I guess I'll drop the berserk as well, I mean, I can just ask my god if I want to go berserk. Uh... One of these. I'll put on this one. Right, so I should have lots of cold resist. Two cold resist should be plenty. I was just bears. I mean, that that's pretty easy. It seems like the AC skill gives more when you use higher base armor. Yeah, it's uh. It's directly proportional to the total base armor of, like, all your things, which is mainly going to be your body armor. But something like gloves will give, like, one base armor, right? Um, so if you double your base armor, you get, like, double the AC from the armor skill. So it's definitely something you want to do on something like crystal plate armor or gold dragon armor. Whereas if you're just wearing, I don't know, leather or something, the armor skill just doesn't do a whole lot. Same with the shield. Yeah, I think the shield... I don't know how the shield scales. I think that shield's a bit more complicated. I notice the first points tend to be better with the shield. Uh... In fact, there's actually a uh, command for the bottom bot funds. If you say AC and then you give like your base armor class, which I don't know, it might be 15 or something, tells you how many points you need to trade with the armor skill to get one AC. Actually, what would my base armor class be on this character? I don't actually remember how much crystal plate armor gives. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've probably got about 18, actually. Base AC, all up. A heavy base? I don't care. But a heavy base. Whoa, these guys love to freeze. This is probably fine. I've got the bit of choke point. This should be fine. No, it's fine. I just thought of these, uh, these guys could be pretty bad, though. Frost hearts. Hey, it's more crystal plate armor. I really don't care about this crystal plate armor. I kind of got my better suit. But if I suddenly got like a ton of, uh, even if I did get like a ton of, um, enchanted armor scrolls, I really don't think I care about it. Nothing good here. Gloves of fusion? No, I don't care about that. Let's get out of here. Uh... Are you count your AC items to put the number to... Yeah, so you like uh, look at the... Yeah, you count up all the base ACs. And it'll tell you that you need to... I don't know if it applies to... Oh, there's one for shields as well? Oh, interesting. I didn't notice that one. Oh, you almost got the command there with the buckler. Uh, is it? Is it this one for Barclay? Or is that just, that just tells you about it? No, that works. 
So that was like five shield value or something. So I wonder how that does scale. So if I do like shield. Also, it does that go linearly with those ones? I better do this. Interesting. I always thought shields did more like early on, but I could be entirely wrong. I guess it's just a lot cheaper earlier on, so it feels like it. What does that mean, though? It means, uh... Well, that would mean if you raise your shield skill by four... Uh... You gain, uh, one of the actual shield values over here. Um... Which is actually quite a lot to have to raise it by, but I guess Barclays aren't very protective, right? I gotta retreat these guys back, there's quite a lot of them. Uh, you already get one for four skill with the Barclay, yeah, which is not a great trade-off. Um, I mean, it's worth getting the first few because they're cheap, but later on, it's not that worth it. Oh, it's Vampiric Quickblade. I wonder what else is in here. We I mean, obviously, I'm just here for the enchant armor, but... Or enchant weapon, I mean. There's probably some other good stuff here. I'll enchant the... I get the demon whip going. That was quite nice. I might rebrand it eventually, but I'm still happy with the brand on it. Uh... I don't think I've got anything to do enchant with the armor, but I might drop this old, uh, well, not old. The crystal plate armor is not that special. Uh, if I just brand, I might, oh, you know what, I might rebrand the base. Demon whip, I mean. Freezing or oh, freezing's good. Freezing's really nice against uh, draconians. Because you get to slow them down, so that'll be really good in Zot, which I'm getting reasonably close to Zot. And I'm happy with the other one being Spectral, so I think my brands are, like, done. I can go drop the, uh, branding scroll. Hey, Roxanne. I don't need to find her right now, but I might need to find her just to get past her. Um, I decided not to do the statue form, but I found this, this armor. Because <laughs> I was initially trying to get a statue form, and I got, like, six, I uh, no, eight shapeshifting. A double spectral meme is dead. Can you actually do like double spectral? Wasn't that broken for like ages? Did it? I think I saw the teleport here. Did it uh, used to be like kind of random? Oh, that's not exactly where I wanted to teleport. I don't know, you'd love to test it. I, I haven't done it personally, but I've seen like the, um... I saw like a bug report about like the spectral not working when you had it on both weapons. You just get out like, one spectral weapon. Oh, draw back to the abyss. Uh, no ruin this time though. Oh, uh, I gotta... Gotta put on the willpower because this guy banishes me while I'm already in the abyss. I end up super deep and that would be a big problem. Oh, look at the evasion. Yeah, the command for that one, the evasion is way more complicated than all the other ones. It is literally just based on how much skill you have. But that was based on like both deck, skill, the encumbrance of your armor. I don't know, what else factors into the evasion? Uh, racial size. I don't know. There's a few other things that give various bonuses, like some of the forms and stuff. My coverage is huge and your decks to the multiply or something. Yeah. I think decks is a multiplier. So it's basically like skill uh dodging and decks kind of multiplied out and then reduced by encumbrance, which encumbrance is from your armor, but then removes reduced by your armor skill. Wait, this is like an entire temple. Is that all the gods or are they some missing? 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So there's actually some missing, but it's an almost complete temple. It's more, 
Oh, he has a bar. It's more complete than your average temple, that's for sure. Time to abandon truck. <laughs> Just because they saw a temple. We wouldn't even abandon for. Ooh, there was a rune somewhere. I don't, oh, I got sick. Wait, they're not going to regen for a while. That's not great. Yeah, good gateway okay, leading out. Uh, oh, I don't know about this, actually. Uh, I'm feeling kind of wounded. Oh, no, this guy's going to torment me. Ow. Yup, I'm taking... Oh, no! 12 hit points? That guy just all hit me with fire damage. I think I can do a healing potion here. I just worried about this guy. It's not the whole, like, icicle and stuff. Um, I think I do another healing potion and then get out of here. Ooh, that doesn't do much, but I'm going to try and get out of here. Uh, that'd be great, Demon. I'm going to try another healing potion, though. <laughs> yeah, that was a non-great thing in the abyss there. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, this guy is someone I'm going to run from because it has whole damnation. But I can run from it because I got a max view distance. There we go. Recovered from my little abyss trip, but that was uh that was scary. Oh, Dungeon uh invasion is big from like the things like armory covers. Yeah, it certainly is. But it really based a lot on strength. Um I think you can get rid of most of the penalties if you have like amazing strength, but then you probably don't have amazing decks. Oh, Give us setting myself back to the abyss. This time it's abyss 4, though. I should be really uh, careful to put that willpower on. Ah. As much as I'd like to get myself a abyss rune, I don't think this is the best place for this character to be. But I don't think it's the right uh, cloak to be wearing. I might try this one on. I uh, actually know this is the right cloak because it's got a regen on it. Hold up. I had to put it back on, I think, actually. I'll hide around this corner and pull the ice guy around. I do have good cold resist, but oh, it got lost somehow. It got sick. That's when I started getting problems. That's what I happened last time. It got sick and then I wasn't able to regen anymore. Okay, there we go. No longer sick. Um, there's a god who they could get me out of the abyss, but I think I'll just stick around. Oh, I got sick again, didn't I? Just when I recovered from my last uh, bout of sickness. All right, good. Gateway leading out. Put on the put on the willpower this time just in case I need it. I hate that thing when you're like on full health and you're trying to regen from the poison and it just keeps on uh telling you, oh you're on full health again. It's like no, I'm not, I'm still poisoned. Oh. Ow. I think that actually goes for a teleport. I was just trying to bring these guys around the corner, but it didn't actually really work. I could have gone run again because then I would have saw more creatures, so I don't know. Uh, also, I'm probably not wearing the right cloak right now. Maybe. I still got the regen cold resist one on. I should probably have the resist electric one on. I don't know, either one's probably fine. I don't think that... Actually, nobody of these guys do electric electricity. Maybe this is the right one to have on. All right. Those points of magic, I don't think I need those, right? What do I even use that for? I don't have a spirit guardian or something. 
I forgot the game of getting the will power. I should have put it on there. Let's check out the helmet. So that's a minus will power. Unfortunate. I got a regen helmet, so I think I'll keep it the regen one. Um, that's he also it's just a morning star. Otherwise, it would probably be quite good. It does give resist electric, but unfortunately, those are really slow to swap weapons for this character. So I don't think it's quite worth it. Um, all right, go to the fire resist, and then head into the depths. I think with this character. Looks like you can uh, negate a lot of your arm penalty by being strong, yeah. I think someone calculated that even, like, uh, if you had, like, a crazy amount of strength, like, 80 or something, you could wear... Oh, that's another thing that you get a penalty from, it's, like, the attack range speed, but that's a huge penalty. Apparently you could wear, like, a gold dragon arm if you have, like, 80 strength or something, and you wanted to use range. It just gives, like, no penalty. But no one's gonna have, like, 80 strength apart from... Characters, baby Demi Gods that went straight into the strength. Oh, willpower, come on. <laughs> I hope that's enough. Zero percent of paralysis, okay. So putting on willpower, I'm completely fine. But of course, if I don't put on the willpower, I'm not completely fine. I do have the fire resist on, right? I just put on a little bit of regen. One fire this is enough good. Since I know that they are simply better the more fire this you have. I have not found like a death talisman have I? This character's probably just gonna be three or four runes, I reckon. That's not too bad. It's still it's still a fun character to play. In fact, I won't even have time today for a fifteen rune run. I'm not sure. Actually not that late yet. I got a couple of hours. It might be it might be like too fast if it's a three rune game and too slow if it's a fifteen rune game. Uh Ow. Oh. Whoa. I just saw a teleport here. Uh because this guy's really nasty. But I was actually gonna read a silence. I guess I won't now. Oh see more of these cruises spear guys. Oh, that didn't take me anywhere. Okay. But I can back up. Guy can throw guys at me, but that's not doesn't have anything to throw right now. Uh oh. Okay. I might actually berserk this guy. I think that's fine. And then I can just run away from the other one. There we go. Oh, that must be why you're able to have some invasion of play armor on your strength berserkers. Yeah, whereas you wouldn't be able to if you were like a and low strength spring or something. No, the spring is weird play, but they can wear gold dragon armor, I suppose. Is he gonna run this way while I still got the silence on? Oh, it's not gonna last. Oh, maybe it is. Hey, good, I got these books in the silence, which stops them casting their spells. <laughs> Mock crystal plate armor? Well, it's like the third set of crystal plate armor this character's seen. Usually, crystal plate armor is like rare. Also, that might be a vampire. Alright, plus one evening star to heavy evening star. I hope that's sure that's worthwhile. It's 84 damage, 1.5 attack delay. It's actually pretty slow attacking. I guess that's 1.5 attack delay. Huh. Wait, that doesn't... Oh, I'm slowed. I'm running around with slowed. No wonder. No, it's one attack delay. That makes more sense. It'll be just over one attack delay. Yeah, because it starts at 0 0.7, the times it by one and a half for heavy. Would you say, uh, stay with Trog or switch to the Shining One for Extended? Uh, generally I'd switch to the Shining One, yeah. Because... I mean, you can do Trog if you find, uh, a Death Talisman. But otherwise, Trog doesn't do a lot to help you in Extended. Because there's not a lot of situations where you'd want to Berserk up. Because it, uh, well... Usually you keep on getting swarmed by creatures. And the slow that you get afterwards is kind of bad. I want to get to this arcane power. And the brother and arms don't scale so well to extend it. The willpower is still useful though. But hopefully you've got some by then. I mean this character probably won't because they're a coglin. But yeah. Oh that's really close. I'm like right next to this whiz lab. 
Hey, thanks for letting me know for the highlight, but thankfully I noticed this one. Oh man, I, I've been missing a lot of these bottles today, though. <laughs> Guess I dropped me off. I just want something of Resist Electric. What the flame? What was that requirement? Do I even know? Have I looked at it? Probably. Oh, Death Talisman. It even some protection. Hold up. I might grab the Death Talisman. I'll just leave it on the floor, but that could be good. Yo, the special level alarm. Let me know when the special levels are. Uh, Alice's Party Mansion. That's one that has a lot of summoners and other mages in it. I need more power. I don't want to go back to the Abyss. That's why can't be bad with like the world binders and stuff. I think there's a Demon's Void Corruptor or something in here as well. I don't know there's something else that could be a problem. With the summons. Yep, oh, well, power's needed. Well, power's probably needed again, because I know the sky targets as well, except thankfully that one doesn't send me to the best, so just, uh... Eh, flaming base. It just wants to get me or gets me something. After this place, there's some pretty good loot. I seem to remember there are often being some requirements in here. Oh, it's meat. Can I eat that? I'm a uh, conklin. Can I eat? Yeah, I can eat some smoked snail. Sure. Hopefully, it doesn't make me feel too sleepy because the only snails I know about in this game are like the top of snails, right? I guess there's Gastrook as well. But he's kind of a top of snail. And I don't think he slows you down. Yeah, these are the tough guys the Demon Spawn Corruptors. Because they died super quick, so I'm fine. So there's a haste, there's a requirement. Yeah, there's lots of good stuff. This is offering me another death talisman. Don't need the morning star. Manual of Thrones. Manual of Thrones is alright. I might grab that one. Because I kind of minimally got into a throne with this character. Oh, another couple of demon spawn corruptors. I think I can berserk these guys. Uh... I said that when I could actually get up to them, though. <laughs> this is maybe not so good with them being behind friends. There we go. Keep the, keep the demon whip going, I think. Oh, there's probably so many titles I can get with this character, isn't there? You can change the fantas for a standard. I'm not sure how, much, uh, how good that would be, but it's an option. Get a fantas title. Um... I really need these books. I'll, I'll grab them. I really don't need them, but I'll grab them. Alright, there we go. Done. I can get out of here. That was not too bad at all. Fairchild doesn't disapprove of, like, death tallies, but right. I don't think so. Uh, I need that leather armor. Oh, healing potions is fine. Revelation's fine. I could grab the... Oh, I might grab the roots as well. Terra doesn't have, like, huge amounts of money, but they have enough to buy some of the consumables. Like, the mutation's probably good. I mean, totally forgetting to use, like, a lot of my, uh, consumables. Things like might. Oh, ow. Speaking of might. I might use some might against this demon. Um, I hope it's the first one that comes around the corner. It's not. Everything else is in front of it. There we go. Oh, different game we got Evolution 1, Strong 1, and Claws 1. That would certainly be helpful, especially if you're like trying to go unarmed or something. What is Evolution? That's one that gives you random pods of mutations, right? Can be good, unless you've got a pod in the helmet and it pops off by giving you horns or something. So I need my willpower. I don't want to be paralyzed here. I feel like that would be pretty lethal. Gives you positive mutations. Oh, yeah. That sounds like, a, sounds like a good set of mutations, especially if you're trying to punch people. Oh, what do I want? I mean, if I want my Phantasm title, I've got to go get the skill for that, but... That doesn't actually help me out that much. Oh, well, I guess I'll do it.
Uh, I do fly. Oh, wait, I forgot about these. Uh, that's, oh, that's a terrible idea, fighting all those guys. I think I might actually teleport out of here, but yeah, I shouldn't have got those guys' attention to start with. They'll be gone soon anyway. Oh, maybe. This looks like the summons again. Maybe they will not be gone soon, but at least they kind of spread out now. I don't think I can actually take out those statues because they cut, they summon such tough stuff. I've had this problem before with the depth statues like that with their shadow creatures. Oh, you managed to win a gargoyle there? Banana can, you've got Annihilator. Annihilator is... That's Conjuration right as well. Invulnerable is... Armor class? Shatterer is... Is that Earth? And Slayer was fighting, of course. I think I haven't got the Annihilator title too much, because I often try and get myself unique ones. That looks like a Juggernaut to me, but I think it's going to be fine. Well, I do have 200 hit points, which is actually not too bad. Oh, I need the willpower. Alright. What am I actually wearing my armor? It's wearing the one that spreads out the resist, but no resist electric, which means I'm going to have to put that on with Soldier Pokey, unfortunately. Uh, I can bring it... No, Brother and Arms wouldn't go in a good spot. I might just bring these around the corner. Alright, I think this is fine. She doesn't do too many bad things. She does bring in the air elementalists, which is a really bad thing, because they can uh, keep you keep you paralyzed for a long time. Alright, Nihilator, you've gone through extended games. Makes sense. Yeah, but with extended, you've got a bit more of a choice sometimes with the titles, because you can kind of just stop something at 26.9 or something. You're like, oh, I'll get, the, get a title from something else. Whoa. I don't think I teleported out just yet. There's a shifter there though, which could be a problem. Actually, I might teleport out. Try and spread those guys out a bit more. Right, Shifter, at least I got to fight the Shifter. Oh, I was going to say I get to fight in the corridor. But it immediately pulled me out of the corridor. I don't know what to do against Zod because I don't really have to resist the electric, at least not at the same time as the fire resist. 27,000 cheap and stuff. Yeah, I got that one on the uh, form zone. I highly recommend getting that one on the form zone because then you can use a uh, shield as well as your two-handed weapon. Such a funny title though. Uh, I might do vaults. I don't have the willpower, but hey. Oh. What piece did I missed out on this level? I put on the resist electric. I'm not sure it's the most important. I don't feel like the fire resist is that important unless I bump into one of the bosses. So we got. No escape hatches. Oh, well. That's going to cost me another teleport, I guess. Let's do that. Go down. Uh, Put on the willpower. What's all of this, dude? Guys, try to mark me. Oh, it's got 3%. It's not even... The willpower's not quite enough, but it's almost there. Oh, <laughs> fake rune. I thought I might get an almost instant rune, but no. Not today. Dude could strip my willpower, the, the phantom guy that killed next to me. Thankfully, I got it. Have you done the 1 to 7 skill titles? I don't think I've managed any of those, unfortunately, Gaze Red. Um, yeah, I think my lowest skill title I've got is, uh, uh, I don't know, it was like 12 skill or something. I think you could technically have more for the title, but I was doing a different challenge. So I couldn't have more. I was doing well the tournament ones, but it doesn't let you get more than 12 skill. I think it does actually let you get 2 12 skill. No, it does. It's less than 13 skill, so it's 12.9. That's what it was. It just, uh, 
Not that to be incredibly hard yet, because you got to win with them. Uh, people often do them as trolls, because trolls have bad aptitudes in general, because you can run into a problem of running out of skills to train if you have decent aptitudes, because everything is just sitting at, like, uh, 7.9. Is what I've heard about them. And there's actually, I think some of those like low skill titles no one's managed to get, but some of them people have managed to get. But it doesn't really matter which one you're going for, because you'll end up with almost every one of your skills on 7.9 anyway. But yeah, the de general method is definitely to a troll. Oh, do I care about Ice Dragon Armor? Not really. But it's kind of funny how they can use their negative aptitudes to their advantage in situations like that. Dude's gonna recall. I don't think I can stop it. Oh well. I hope it moves up though. That would be nice. That dude's gonna recall and I might be able to stop it. 50%. Oh, I actually don't like the look of this. I might start another teleport. Okay, pull this guy back. I'll get a bit of health back as I pull it back. I love having lots of regen in here. It's so useful. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's mainly... I think Geoff got a few of those low skill title ones. I don't actually know what to... Query for though with that. Oh, banished? You think you're gonna get banished? Or maybe. I certainly have a low enough willpower they could. Well, not at the moment. I put on the willpower, but. I really hope I don't get banished in here. Oh, that guy paralyzed, but I do have my willpower on. You know, banished might have to be an improvement if there's enough guys around me at the time it happens. Dreadlish does paralysis, so I'll put on the willpower. There we go. A dry on its own can still summon into pretty nasty demons, but it's not as bad as when it's hard to get to, because there's all sorts of crazy stuff around it. It'll be easy for you to get out, though, because you have good stats and stuff. Yeah, I've got out a number of times with this character, but I, I get to get myself sent to the Abyss. Um, the worst thing would probably be getting myself marked here, because I can't so easily escape that. I mean, I can... Call for cancellation, but things will still come along. Oh, your favorite panic button is the ziggurat figurine, but that's only in tomb, right? Yeah, it is only in tomb, I believe. Although you can also do the one depths and do the entire ziggurat, and that gives you a ziggurat figurine as well, technically. So you can get at most two of those. I've actually had that saved my character's lives like a number of times. Um, through like the Iron City of Dis, where I got like a really bad ambush or something. I had one save me in Zot uh, 5 doing an extended game, and I was like a Formicent and a. I was like a Formicent and a Shining One, and I. What was it called? A Seraph came along or something, and all my Shining One abilities were completely useless because it was immune to holy stuff. Um, I think it's gonna recall, but I'll definitely have the willpower on here. Care about a little little base or whatever that one is. I can probably just auto explore now. There's not too much left at this level. Well, the family fancy dragon blood tallies, but hey, finally found the rune. It's like the last spot I went to. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's like your immediate thing. You just kind of land basically on top of it, but not this time around. I think I want. Don't need the broad eggs. Don't need the rapier. I really care about these books enough to go pick them up. Also, resist the Lantric Dragon Talisman. Unfortunately, I don't think Talismans work that well, because they can't dual wield with a Talisman on. So I'm just going to go Zot. And hope that this character is able to get the title I'm going for. <laughs> How's that going? 12. Oh. How many electric dragons? I do need to be a little bit worried about the uh, electric guys here. Why just pop the revelation? Do I have a digging? Yes, 21 digging, good. 
Don't really want to charge up, but unfortunately I'm going to end up slowed here. I'd take straight down even though it's not the most ideal choke point. This kind of won't go through the wall like some of the other ones will. That's kind of half the point of the magic mapping this place. I can see where my digging will take me because you digging is really useful here, especially with these melee characters. I'm, oh, we have someone okay with range, but it's definitely helpful. But I should bring out the javelins. That was uh, definitely great. I think I got 20 throwing skills. I'm perfectly good at using javelins as well. Alright, let's go down. Still worried about this lack of resist electric. Oh wait, I've got that on right now. Lack of resist fire. I should actually have the resist fire on, I think. Oh, I think I took off my cloak and didn't put on the other one. Uh, yeah, right. So that's probably why the electric all will do bad. Oh, I like this arrow. This arrow is there with like all the giants and stuff. So super funny. And uh, they should just be able to pull them all out eventually. They do all like berserk up and stuff, which is not too bad. I mean, sometimes it can take a while to clear through it. In fact, what I should do is I should uh, mark this area as someone to come back for, and then I should magic map out the level. I should leave it to last, not because it's tough, but because it gives the guys a chance to spread out. Good old heavy morning stars, I don't care too much about those. So nice as not to create affordable housing for everyone. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly the, not the sort of housing you want to live in. It's very crowded. Barely can even get out. Like, there'd be so many creatures in your way. Hey, what's up, Taxi Cab Samurai? Did I see you streaming earlier today? I feel like I did. Didn't uh, catch what you were streaming, though. I don't think it was Dungeon Crawl, right? Anyway, if you were streaming, how did it go? Or, and quite importantly, what were you streaming? This is uh, the area of these guys that petrify you. It's probably fine. They do, they are better under the melee. Because they strip your willpower. Oh, you're streaming Fallout 2? It was alright. Probably gonna do it again after eating. Ah, oh, yeah. Good idea. No, I played a little bit of Fallout 2 back in the day, but I don't think I got that far into it. I certainly didn't complete the game. What's up with the... Oh, right, I exclude this area off. I was wondering if the that are only available via escape hatch. I kind of like those ones. Well, kind of, but they're also a little strange because you never really go to them. Oh, so hard at the beginning? Yeah, because you don't start with a lot of stuff, right? You just start off, like, punching people. You don't even start with, like, a gun or any ammo or nothing. Although, I think you can get, like, uh, uh, melee weapons and stuff. I don't remember exactly how it works. It's been a little while. I remember you start with, like, some healing powder, but not much else to heal you up. Why am I leaving that excluded? I really enjoyed Fallout 1 and 2. I wonder whether I played 1 or not. I definitely know I played Fallout 2. I don't think I actually played number 1. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'm not even sure I owned them on Steam. I think I owned like the physical copies. In fact, I think they might actually be my dad's physical copies that I played when I was a child. Oh, Fallout 1 seemed a lot more forgiving. I just made the job love to carry you early. That's fair enough. Yeah, now you get a weapon or something. Well, it's very much worth it. Should maybe go check it out, because it's probably fairly cheap these days to go grab a copy of it. Ooh, why am I falling? Level 4, that's fine. Don't know if you get shot into level 5. I feel like you can't. 
Oh, maybe unless you like purposely shaft yourself or something. Uh, hold up, let's not go as well as I'd like. Um, it's just six game. They grab Dabry is so fun. I love that. It's a uh, pull them all to a board, just escape, and they're not even there. Are you on all the good old games? Oh yeah. I think I played it well before that even existed. <laughs> no, it was definitely the physical copy I was playing back in the day. But I've probably still got like a disk drive lying around somewhere that I can plug into this computer. Um, <laughs> that's the nice thing about like desktops. At least you can go plug in a disk drive if you've got one lying around. But I'm pretty sure I do. And boot up all the old games from your childhood. If they had exploding labs, the moth could go to the lab like in real life. There's a trick because the lab blows up. This game used to have like fire labs. They should have totally attracted moths, right? This is fine. Probably. This is not fine. I need some health. That guy can crystal spare me. This is fine again after the healing potion. I've been naming characters after spoof members of the Rat Pack. Full on one has been, uh... Barton? Well, they had Fire Labs? Well, yeah, Fire Labs were ages ago. I don't remember exactly how they worked. Wait, what was that? Jaw Talisman. But I know they brought out flames and uh, there was a real trick to using them and I never mastered the trick to using them. But apparently they were really good. Might have to lignify here. But I think they were removed because uh, of how like fairly they were to use or something. All right, that did work out. Oh, like Dean Martin? Who's Dean Martin? I probably should know, but I haven't heard of them. Oh wait, I've got to I've got to magic map this out. Also, it does have information about these lamps of fire. They made fire elementals. I remember making fire elementals. I don't know if I used the one that didn't make fire elementals. I didn't even know there was one that didn't make fire elementals. Huh. Super famous singer in the 50s and 60s. I've heard some of the, like, the old famous singers, but yeah, I'm clearly not that one. I should maybe go check them out. Because all music certainly has like a, like a different style of it that can actually be kind of nice. Oh, the thing about music, like it never really gets old. Like you get the different styles, but like it never really becomes outdated. I mean, I guess the audio recordings weren't quite as good in the old days and stuff. Um, I think I actually cough over resistance here, otherwise I could get electrocuted. But they were still, like, reasonably good. Like, it's a uh, way bigger difference in terms of other things like videos. The uh, audio has improved a bit, but not that much. Uh, I remember using the water one that makes water elementals. I don't remember the water one that much. I know, I remember, like, the vial of floods. That still exists. Doesn't make water elementals anymore. Uh... I remember there being a gale of winds or something that created air elementals, but I don't remember the water one. I don't know, there's been various, uh, evoke balls over the years. Gloves are poison resistant. I've got really good gloves. There's manual shapeshifting. If I wanted to go extended, that manual shapeshifting would make sense. Uh, wait, why am I getting invocations? Oh, Fed has title, that's right. I mean, it's the only thing vaguely useful here, so I might pick it up. I'm not going to really be trading it. I could have theory. I don't know if I want to make this character go extended or not. Oh, is it a classic? Uh, it was also Sammy Davis Jr.? Nat King Cole and Frank Sinatra? Some of those sound vaguely familiar, but I'm not, uh, 
Not that that familiar with old music. I've definitely looked at some of it though. Hey, it's a genie. That's definitely a genie. I can tell because they're like hovering with the the the, the I don't know more quite what you call it, but they're like the swirly part down the bottom. Not Servitor? What do they even cast with that? Magic Dart? I mean, maybe. Battle Sphere? Monstrous Menagerie? That's kind of a psyche spell list. Like, getting a Servitor and just getting Magic Dart to use with it? That's really sad. What do they actually use to their main spell? No wonder they died. Oh, the attacks don't do much. Yeah, that's a... Oh, what's that? Me to throw a javelin. It didn't really matter. That's kind of a little sort of a sad spell list. That's not going to work sticking around in here. I might start teleport. It's going to take a long time to go off. Ooh. I think this is okay. Tentacle Monstrosity is probably going to get berserk though, which is what I'm worried about. Oh, good. Teleport out there. All right. Let's quickly get to the staircase before anyone else comes along. That's the classic problem of too many berserk guys. Are you just in time to see a W, you think, Jallywick? Hopefully. I really hope so. Now, this character is definitely doing well. I was vaguely thinking we said it, but I'm not sure. I don't think that God's quite right. I might just uh, leave it at three runes, I think. All right, let's go down. This is the last level here. All I've got to do is survive this level. Traps look fine from what I can see. Yeah, this side's got barely any traps. I can just waltz on that side. How's the damage go on this character? It feels really good. It's almost 100 damage. It's like 99 with 0.6 attack delay. It's really good. Is it actually 0.6 attack delay? Was that rounded? Wait, one weapon's 0.5 attack. Yeah, it is. One weapon's 0.5 attack delay, and the other one's uh, 0.7, so it would be exactly 0.6. Unless I somehow don't have my weapons at mid delay, but that would be uh, unlikely. Oh, how's the skill going? 18 in the invocations? It only needs to be 21. It's actually going alright. Because I actually haven't got any other skills at that high. Usually I end up here with some really high skills. How's it going, Jetly? What sort of character you got going, Crawl? I think I saw, I think I saw various characters. Last time I saw one of your stream. Didn't you have a character that was going well, though, at the end? I vaguely feel like there was someone that was going well. Why was if you wield two spectral weapons? Last I knew it didn't work. Um, you already got like one spectral weapon out, which was kind of sad. But I'm not sure if that's still the case. Oh. I guess I'll, uh, I don't, don't actually think I can really find out. So I'm perfectly happy with the freezing brand that I've got. I should remember about my potions. I got tons of potions, right? I've got like the might and haste and stuff. Did I just get a little bit of might going? Like 16 might. I got ridiculous numbers of those. Okay, let's pop a little haste. Don't have a lot of fire resist, but I think I can kill the over fire pretty quick. Oh my god, Vertigo? Is it Cloud Effect? The other Cloud Effects could definitely be bad. I lost a few characters last stream. Got as far as Swamp and died to a mitered body. Of... Oh, I remember that. That's right. No, no, I definitely remember that one. That was kind of a shame, but yeah. Because you killed the Druid and then it mitered up. I might as well max out the Demon Blade here. Odd for a moment that resist mutate. Oh, uh, connected lost. Oh, come on. Bad gateway. That probably means the server's been reset just when I was about to get a win, but it's fine. They're way too tab heavy for your good. I still don't play way too fast as well. Rip server. Ah, oh, yeah, it's making me log in again. That's almost suddenly. 
just being reset. Because there were actually, oh, it's like me right back in. There were actually uh, problems like with people that it said they'd be like idle for 50 hours or something and it still had locked them out. So and there were a ton of people on the server like that. So the server didn't need restarting. I presume that's what that was. How much of the money I paid for? I remember it being a lot. Uh, right. Three times 40 damage. If it was might it be three times 60 damage, right? So, you can one hit a lot of characters that Max rolled. Oh, I better get rid of this. Um, Mark. Put on the haste. Put on the mind and just see what comes along. I don't think guys just got like teleported out of there anyway by the teleport trap. It would be nice having an anti magic weapon because they got an anti magic spear there or something, but spears aren't that good, unfortunately. Or three times 40, it's like, yup, and then if they're mined up, it's like uh, three times 60, right? So, <laughs> definitely on the scary side of things. Uh, I definitely want my might going again. Oh, I should probably ace up again. I don't think I'm going to need all of those for the orb run. Uh, this guy's hitting me. There's a lot of guys hitting me here. Oh, minus fire resist. I can't have that. I think it makes sense to blink back onto one of these, actually. Good. Got me out of there. Now, the minus fire resist makes those orb fights a bit uh, tough. I could put on, like, a potion of resistance, but I was kind of feeling like I was in a not great spot anyway. Also, I can just grab this orb and get out of here. I don't actually have to kill these other guys. Um... <laughs> if I can ever get a clad uh, run of this. Right, so I need to grab this. Let's get out of here. I'll grow, grow, uh, grab Phantas on the way out of here, though. Um, who have we got today? Summon Demon, Blink Allies, and Circling. It hastes itself up. So I don't think I can outrun it, but I'm going to speed myself up. Could stand on the questionable teleport trap, but I don't think I will. Oh, confused. Okay. Let's cure that. I should uh, maybe blink back a little bit. Not going to be perfect, though. I might just get out some creatures. That's not many creatures. Ow. Uh, I think it's a bad idea sticking around. I think I'm going to have to blink again, but this has not been, not been an easy escape from these guys. Do the chaos solves confusion. It probably would have been quicker to wait. Uh oh. Don't yeah, don't just confuse me. I'm gonna put on some willpower, but I'm worried about this guy. It hits for 50 something damage and it's hasted. I'm a way off that staircase still. I'm gonna try something scroll. As long as I got this guy up the front. I should be fine. Still wasted, right? Although it's about to wear off. Man, so many summoning scrolls. This is not, uh, not good. There we go. I think that's gonna stop that guy from getting to me. And I finally got up. Trog bros for space. Yeah, that could have worked as well instead of the summoning scroll. Um, I don't bring that one dude. So if I run out of the summoning scrolls, it's definitely an option. What's this guy got? I might just start a teleport. I feel like I can just. Fight this guy though. Oh wait, I'm out of staircase. No point in not uh, moving. How fast is this guy? Uh, hundred twenty percent. Oh, of electricity. I'm gonna try and run away. Shouldn't take me very long to get out of sight. Wait, just go to go to dungeon. Go to 
bit has. Because I should be able to get a Cog Goblin or something crazy as a title. Uh, oh, nice. It's taking me up nice and high, which is a good sign. To be the way I have to do too many levels uh, with Trograth. Because uh, the Trograth levels, well, for one thing, I'll have no willpower, which will be kind of sad. All right, that's fantastic. Let's do this. All right. Don't get too angry, Trog. It's uh, for the title. It's nothing personal, Trog. Wait, why am I fungal? Oh, no. Oh, it requires specifically 27 skill. Man. Okay, I stuffed up my title. Can I salvage it? Have I had fungal before? I probably haven't. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the egg, so let's just check. I totally stuffed it up. I forgot I needed 27 skill. That would have required me to go extended. Um, I might not have had this, though. I haven't had that. Okay, I got the, completely the wrong title, but it'll do. Let's get out of here. Well, I'm going to have to do another Fantastic character at some stage, but I got out. <laughs> With a unique title to add to my pack. Oh, that was a really quick game. I might actually finish up a little bit earlier here. Um, today. I'm not feeling too bad, but I don't think I'll keep on streaming too much longer. I almost go back into the habit of long streams, but not quite. We don't want to raid. You gotta go live like you right now, Charlie Wick. Because if you do, I can raid you. Who else is there that I could raid? Not sure. Not many of the people I know online. So there's Navarine online and 420 Blaze It. Could go rate either of those. I'll get, go see if someone's doing Cruel right now. Just me streaming Cruel right now. Alright. That was fun to watch. Yeah, that was a fun game. I think the Trog, uh, Coughlin Berserkers are actually good. I mean, I got really good stuff, so it helped a lot, and I might not have won without the good stuff, but I definitely think that was worthwhile. Alright, well, I might go Rage. There's also Night Settler online. There's a lot of people online, actually, that could Rage. I might go Rage uh, Blaze at the moment.